names and stuff. I just <clears throat> no, I'm kind of webcam stuff. I like just names only. Yeah. Oh god, I don't even own a webcam. I have an I old laptop know. that has one, but I haven't DM'd in eight months, and with how everything has gone in the past eight months, feels like a decade. <laughs> <laughs> I think. A bit over eight months. Yeah. Well, my mic is super good at picking up the dog's toy. Well, that's not nothing. Yeah. Or do you think we have audio? uh, Yeah, we're good. Okay. I would like to make one statement, and then it's going to be all about feisty. Um, To any of you who are playing, or anybody who's watching, um... If you've experienced this module, whether it's something you've played before, read, or watched, um, for the purpose of everybody who's playing, let's try to not do spoilers. I don't, you know, some sometimes certain circumstances are unavoidable and you can't help what you know, but you can keep that information to yourself. That's all I got to say about that. Oh, thank you. No, thank you, sir. Is this a pre-existing module? Yes. Okay. Um, it's a free module, actually. Chances of me knowing it are slim to none. It, for like two or three years, it was, a, I think, originally a third edition module, and it, it's been reprinted and retrofitted for every edition since, but there was like a two or three year period where it was like going through the con circuit as like a fun one to run for long con appearances. So... Like, if you were in that arena at all, chances are you've come across it. Yeah. Uh, are we we ready? We're ready. Cool. Um, welcome, everyone. Uh, I guess we can start by picking characters. Um, if I... Uh, just, I guess, tell me which one you want, and then I will assign them. Uh, did we want to do the, or did you want us to do the roll 20, like the roll 20, the roll for initiative, like to see who can pick first or? Yeah, that would be, uh, even better. And the one closest to six gets to pick first. Hmm. I think that's traditional house ruling. Is that how that works? Oh my God. Look, I got a six guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'll be going well, last. Uh... <laughs> Is it, slash, <laughs> is it slash roll or yeah uh, slash R. roll space one d twenty? Or you can click the little dice icon at the top. Yeah, that's true. You have a dice tool in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Oh shit, you're right. Dax, you get to go first. Uh, I don't. I don't want to go first. This is pressure. <laughs> Too I mean, bad. You rolled well. I mean, you you could also seed. I'm imagining that's also an action. I mean, you're allowed to if you want to, like, go last instead. Yeah, I'll go last. Okay. Uh, try, I guess it is you first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Social engineering for the win. <laughs> um, oh, boy. So, Meg, you want to play one of the two band of friendship peoples if spentis is okay with playing a different character yes absolutely go right ahead okay sounds good uh then i will play amara Uh, oh that's in character settings how do i do this um character sheet Luckily, you have someone that can talk uh, you through it if you get lost. Yeah, I think just give him a second to get his feet under him. Yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, can you move that around? And I can see... Let me try reloading, because sometimes that is a hiccup. I can see her uh, hit point total, which is a really good sign. Oh, no. What's up? I uh, have multiple games open, and for some reason, when I reloaded your game, it reloaded the my home campaign. Oh, heck. <laughs> I'll be just one second. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Um, 
Uh, Loading now. Spentius, you want to go next for picking? Hello? I'm muted! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I apologize, I was being talked to. Um, <laughs> did Try already figure out who he wants, or...? Yeah, Try yeah, pick Samara. Okay. And she can um, I would like to play... Their names are gone. Kara. <laughs> you Kara. The dual sword fighter. I like that character. Ka Griffey. Yeah, she's nice. I liked her last time. Huh? Okay. Spentius should be assigned to you. Um, I guess I, if you had I a character can... assigned to you, just move it to the bottom right. Uh, okay. I can see. I click on her and I see a little HP. Let me refresh here real quick. Yes, I can move her. Cool. Um. Meg, Destiny? I want Vala. Bands of friendship. <laughs> you know that I'm just going to give you all the damage that I take, right? <laughs> I <laughs> thought that's the one that teleported me to you if I got lost. I thought there was also the element of sharing damage. Oh, well, we'll find out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, to be a... Functional resistance. Yep, I uh, got her. Bex, which do you want to play? Uh, I just wanted to give everyone a chance first, but I want to. I kind of feel the one trick phony move moment right now, and I want more Silas. I <laughs> There's like nothing him. wrong with that. <laughs> he served you well. I, I can't help it. I like his sexy draconic abs. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame you. I also want his sexy draconic abs. <laughs> Oil boy! <laughs> 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 I'm drying up over here. <laughs> okay, I actually just really enjoyed playing him. He's been fun. Uh, okay, uh, that should be assigned to you as well. Okay, I'll get to the refresh thing. Loading, loading, loading. Get that roll twenty loading. Uh, I know, I know. Okay. Huzzah! He moves. Aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. Um, okay. so everyone uh, is assigned. Try. Sir. How did I find uh, the... Is it in the journal? It's the list of items? Like what each item does? So that's going to be a bit of a tricky thing because... Oh, right. It does not look like anybody... I don't, not to throw feisty under the bus, but that would have had to have been added. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. A uh, quick question. But I can. I mean, you can. So javelin of lightning is a bog standard item. You can look that up in the compendium, the lowercase i. Yeah. Beacon of heroism. Of... That's the one I'm curious about. Uh, I am pretty sure that that is just a. Um... I mean, I can I Google it, but I get an action. Yeah, give me one second. I'll just let me load up the other game real quick, just yeah, so I can okay. have all these answers. Yeah, I apologize. Right. I don't want to oh, no, it's, I forgot to ask to try and get those imported in. Um, oh, also my... uh, I don't know if this is it. Be could wonder a gold amulet with an uh, when you use your action surge, all enemies within forty feet. I can see you must make a con saving throw with a DC of fifteen or become blinded for one D four rounds. I just I literally googled it, so I don't know if that's accurate. I tried to keep everything as Noble standard crumpet. as possible just to make sure that there wasn't any issues, but let me just... Noble Crumpet. <laughs> yep, when you use your action surge, all enemies get blinded if they fail their con save. And let me just look at Band of Friendship while we're here so that I can tell Megan exactly how much trouble she's in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. I'm just happy to have Minerva again. I've missed her. <laughs> uh, we gain initiative advantage as long as we're within 60 feet. Um, whenever one of us takes damage, we can opt to take half that much as long as the other person takes the other half of that damage. Oh, oh so I can I can take damage control. off you? No, uh, no, just the two bearers of the rings. 
Oh, so okay. I thought that was. If the I beacon. take twenty damage, I can give Megan ten and take ten for myself. Yeah, I apologize. Which is what will happen every time. Yeah. <laughs> damage with consent. <laughs> I mean, we do share everything. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, cool. Um, any other questions or things to get sorted out before we get going? Yes, try it. How does grappling work? Uh, basically contested strength checks. Okay, uh, You'll cool. roll with advantage, or not with advantage, you'll roll with proficiency if you have athletics. Cool. Okay, thank you. Gonna grapple all those sheep. <laughs> I, just I mean, over a fence. <laughs> sometimes you have to grab the bull by the horns. It's not a bull; it's a sheep. I don't know that it could. Well, I know it could be a bull painted to look like a sheep. <laughs> you gotta grab him first. You, you found me out. <laughs> I would have gotten have... away with it too if it wasn't for the handling. Over. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know this module, so I'm just throwing stuff out there. But yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to get started. I have all okay. Cool. Um, so the four of you find yourselves. I think that transitioned. Yes, it yep. did. I don't see my character, but I see a map. Oh no! Heck, how? Yeah. Just how copy you... paste the tokens, okay. or you can drag them from the uh, compendium. Like just literally drag them off the characters tab onto this map, whichever is easier for you. Okay, I will go ahead and do that. Do do. We're in the tavern. I'm going to roll to see if I'm getting drunk. Oh, uh, you will have to resize them. I had to blow them up so that they were more clearly visible on where we were. But yeah. Uh, oh, hey, there's me. Times two. Times, times three. <laughs> da 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 da. Da 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 da. Spell of duplication. Yeah, you can do three of yourself at a time, right? <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new? <laughs> Anyways, um, the four of you find... <laughs> I don't know what that was a reference to. <laughs> I think you do. <sighs> um... <laughs> Just, I'm so disappointed. It's okay. I like to make people feel disappointed. Oh, no. That's my goal in life. <laughs> it's true. I do it to my partner all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the four of you find yourselves in a tavern for the evening after a well-needed break from the last adventure that all of you were in. Uh, trying to get away from the lands of the undead uh, and maybe have a little bit of, it, of a respite. Um, heck, normally I would have the group of people sort of interact and roleplay if you want for a little bit before I move the ball, but I can also just move the ball uh, now if you want. This is a much needed respite. <laughs> like a lion in like a lamb. That's what I always say. <laughs> How, what does that mean? It's, uh, I think, the transition between winter and spring. But uh, it was a lamb pun, so I couldn't. Oh, <laughs> yes. Lamb. Especially good toasted. <laughs> Completely missing the reference. And just <laughs> Wait, who has the That's what Silas said. I'd like to take... I, you have the books? Mm -hmm. I'm going to read one of your books that you stole from the library. Uh, yes. Erasmus's Guide to Nautical Knot Tying. Yes. Enjoy. I'm just going to kick back <laughs> over here on the couch and read that. <laughs> um, what are the rest of you doing while... Um, I can't remember any of the characters' names. Vala is reading a book about nautical knot tying. Uh, in a non-meta way, uh, Amara would like to ask the innkeeper or the serving girl if there's mutton on the menu. <laughs> uh, 
strangely, <laughs> there is. Well, actually, not so strange. That is a rather standard fare in these parts. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Silas is going to go ahead and place an order for mutton. <laughs> and and a it. flag and a bail for my compatriots. <laughs> Two orders of mutton and a round of bail, ale coming out. Now one, I roll to one see cup of mead. <laughs> oh, I'll join you mead. with the mead. Yes, that sounds good. So two flagons of mead and two flagons of ale. Yes, please. <laughs> Kara, come join us at the bar. No, I'm quite all right where I am. Thank you. <laughs> Slowly pushing back in my chair, just kind of like slouching down. We just fought the necromancer's daughter. You take all the time you need. Um. So, uh, as all of you are settling into the tavern for a nice, relaxing afternoon, a uh, loud... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear a sound of clattering hooves and surprised yelps from outside the tavern and a frantic bleeding. And before any of you can do anything, a sheep bounds into the tavern uh, holding a scroll in its mouth and looking... Uh, oh, brain. Come on, brain. <laughs> um, there. There's a sheep. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute! Thank you, Pixie. Thank you for using Wulu. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best one I could think of. Um, uh, uh, the beast appears to be a regular sheep in every way fluffy white coat, black face and curled horns, but it is carrying an elaborate uh, scroll in its mouth. Uh, as it enters the tavern, it tries to uh, it bounds its way up to Amara uh, looking patiently at her. Uh, I have very poor animal handling skills, but I'd like to try my best to talk at it, cajole it, stop it from running away so that I can get a better look at the scroll. Uh, sure. Um, I mean, you can move over to the, the sheep and, uh, it will happily let you have the scroll if you want to take it. Ooh, that seems tricky. I'm uh, very curious. Do I recognize I like that she's trying to talk to the, to the sheep? I mean, it clearly understands you. Uh, so I wouldn't, you won't need really much of an animal handling check. Um, but like, it's happy to hand over the, the scroll to you. Okay, um, if I, not intending to activate the scroll, but I would like to read it and see if I can decipher it. Uh, the wax seal purports it to be a scroll of speak with animals modified. Ooh. So I think we just set this on fire. We won't be needing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> totally. No, I can communicate with animals, right? <laughs> can you? Yeah. He yes, I can. can. <laughs> With those abs, of course he can. Yeah, the totem barbarian can. Um, it's up to you. Uh, I feel like maybe we've adventured enough together that I might be aware of your ability to beast speak, and I'll defer to you. That's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> But sure, why not? Um, feel free to uh, talk, talk to it as a sheep. <laughs> all right, without acknowledging the scroll, I address the sheep. Uh, no, we'll play this. Let's Come see. on. Uh, okay, fine, fine. Like, <laughs> well, I would rather eat you. What can we do for you, little sheep? Oh, fuck, why am I so out of practice for roleplay? <laughs> That's what you are practicing. This is practicing. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm hungry. Practicing. Quick. <laughs> uh, I just love when players do things I don't expect. Um, oh, I did not expect to... I thought I would need that. This is rather awkward. <laughs> uh... The sheep says in a rather stuffy, uh, well-read accent that is very strange coming out of sheep because everyone else just hears ba, <laughs> uh, and that is the most well-spoken sheep you have ever talked to. 
uh, I uh, I could um, use your help, actually. I look uh, at the party and be like, he's feeling awkward <laughs> when he wants our help. Continue, <laughs> sheep. Am I... Just a quick thing. With where I'm sitting, Feisty, am I, am I still hearing the boss or am I hearing the voice? Uh, everyone else just <laughs> hears boss. Um, there has been no magic cast. Silas just knows how to speak to sheep because reasons. <laughs> well, in, in fairness, it's a super awkward. It's a, he can only cast speak with animal as a uh, ritual. So for 10 minutes, he's just been sitting there stroking the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got Basically, this. Just, I'm just going to very awkwardly <laughs> stroke the sheep for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how often well, 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 speak with animal looks like, but I assume there's some stroking. Wait. <laughs> Which, like, the sheep was both, like, enjoying, but also, like, vaguely uncomfortable about. <laughs> In, like, <laughs> both ways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about for the, the, the ritualistic part of it? Scratch the sheep between the air going, there, there, little guy. I'm sure you're tasty. But you can speak for yourself, can't you? <laughs> um, the uh, yes. Dax, I would have given you $100 to just, when we asked you what he said, he didn't tell me mutton. <laughs> 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 you know, I wish I could travel backwards in time just so yeah, I could make yeah. that happen. I feel like uh, that could come up again later in in the story. So sure, sure. sure. Uh, even though the the points are made up and the experience doesn't matter, I'd still give you five experience points for every pun you make. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the sheep. Uh, continue speaking. Um, my name is Feinthar Shinebright, and I am a wizard in dire need of help, as uh, I am normally not a sheep. Um, I need help to take back an extremely powerful magical artifact from a dangerous and possibly quite insane wizard. Hold on just a minute. <laughs> Guys, his name is something something bright. He's a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mara walks up to Silas and smells his breath, looking him in the eye, um, trying to assess whether or not the dragon is drunk again. I look at Amara, noticing this, and I'm like, ah, screw it, read the damn scroll. Bah! <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I will read the scroll so that the sheep can convey the story to me as well. Um, so, the sheep managed to convey, convey just that much before a loud howling fills the air accompanied by the sound of angry yells and the occasional scream that seems to be drawing closer and closer uh, <laughs> the cause quickly becomes apparent as a huge half orc swaggers into the tavern pushing his way through the crowd outside without a care for anybody standing in his way in front of him walk Appear, appear to be large wolves wearing iron collars while a hulking figure in a dry in a that's not dry that's dirty a dirty brown cloak travels in his wake with footfalls loud enough to be heard over the ruckus the half orc sets his small eyes uh on you and strides forward with one hand resting on the hilt of a great sword and says that sheep is a master. Is Master Noakes? He desires to have it back. Too bad. <laughs> Five points. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna stay in between him and the sheep. Knowing otherwise, uh, having just heard the sheep speak to me and confirm that he is in fact not a sheep but a wizard, I step forward. Does does the sheep seem to recognize these people? Do we get the impression that? He's he was running from these people. Oh, the sheep is definitely cowering behind the lot of you. I think uh, that's all we need to know. And as I'm standing in front, I turn to the sheep. What do you know about these ones? Uh, oh, you're 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 addressing uh the the sheep. Yep. Uh, addressing fine here. In in the way or words, come on, brain. Uh, he tells you that this these are the people that are after him, and he would like to be like, please don't let them take me. I don't want to go back. 
Which Amara can hear as well, since uh, she yeah. used the scroll. So are um, either of you going to share that with the rest of the party? Uh, I'll just, uh, to the people who don't speak animal, um, you know, number point number one, broaden your horizons. You're looking learn right to do at a new me thing. as you say this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just learn, learn a thing. We're doing just fine. You guys can learn it. Uh, second number, second thing, uh, operational point number two, is uh, Heroes of Pendalore Assemble. We have an innocent to protect. <laughs> and then talking to Guz, tell him that he should stand down and leave this place now or he's going to end up looking quite sheepish. <laughs> five more points. <laughs> five more. Five points to Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, seeing that the negotiations have gone poorly, uh, Roll for initiative, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Me just over here suddenly. Um, oh, wait. I did not do the thing. Um, oh. Can everyone roll initiative again? I failed. I, yeah, and I didn't have my character selected. I but I feel like left. I'd rather have the 18 than the 5. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my 20. Oh, what a show off. Just as I notice the wolves come over and he, you're talking to the guy, I'm like, are we fighting for the sheep? <laughs> <laughs> Do not talk down to this sheep. He's a wizard. <laughs> this is where he's like, I leave you guys alone for a minute so I can put my shoes up. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to rest my feet, have my mead. And you I'm, I'm kind of I'm, I'm looking at Silas with just kind of like, like, I'm not like, I'm giving them like, what? <laughs> what did you do? Type of face. <laughs> and I wanted some roast mutton. Now I'm stuck between some big bad wolves and a sheep. Okay. Yep. Well, clearly you made a mistake, a tactical <laughs> blunder, if you will. <laughs> um, because you don't get mutton for right now, but maybe you'll get mutton in a bit. Uh, anyways, um, so. Guz gets to go first, because I guess he rolled well. Um, he uh, takes his greatsword and rolls it around, or is going to recklessly attack because there are a bunch of people in front of him, uh, and hit two people with great, uh, his whirling greatsword. Um, that would be probably uh, Silas and Vala. Um, which the ring? Oh, do I do? Um, f first is Silas, and second is Vala. Okay. Ha! My armor class is sixteen. That doesn't hit me. Okay. Um. Wait. It does truck Silas, though. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is an accurate assessment. Uh, wait, did it miss? Um... Drunk. It missed Vala. Yeah, my okay. AC is um, sixteen. Not, and it rolled excellent. 15. So, eleven damage to Silas. Who's that right in front of us? Is that Guz? That's Guz, yeah. The, what's at the... Okay, never mind. Then what's at the I what? I can barely see it from here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, closer to my screen. Like, it's going to get any bigger. <laughs> um, Silas, did, or, did you take the damage? I don't know. I, I did my thing, my counter. Did it? Yeah. It's not updating your token. Yeah, it didn't update. Want me to close it and reopen? Oh, there it is. There. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. Um, Amara, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Let's do get help. How'd that go from 13 to 24? <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't hate that plan. 
<laughs> Megan's over here whispering, let's do get help. <laughs> I hate doing good help. <laughs> so I'm in a bad position here. Just a bit. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My own doing, I was mouthy. I probably deserved a great sword hit. Uh I'm gonna take the attack of opportunity and try to move over to here. That does hit. Well, I could have gone way worse, I suppose. I feel like you need to take all eight of that. I won't be taking four of that. No, I'll, I'll only ever like legitimately siphon damage if it's going to kill me. Okay. I've got low HP. <laughs> um, I'd like you want to... to believe you. Yeah, I mean, I want to believe me too. Then I think I will attempt to cast Scorching Ray at Guz, looking to cut to the quick of things here. Rolled hit. Uh, you have advantage also, since he is reckless. Ooh. That looks like three hits, yeah? But they all hit? Oof. Tried to hit the first two of you, um, but uh, lets loose a couple of bevies of Scorching Ray uh, into Guz um, as a retaliatory strike. Does it look like it was effective? Uh, it was effective. It, it it worked about as well as you'd expect Scorching Ray to work. Okay. Um, can I, with your permission, spend a two meta magic points for a quickened uh, firebolt? Uh, that also hits. Yeah, four more points of fire, sucker. That's all I can do. Uh, Silas, it's your turn. I'm having thoughts. <clears throat> These three wolves that are down here, yes. uh, are they just idling or do they look like they're ready to pounce themselves? Oh no, they're next in line. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I'd like to urge him on by telling Silas it's time for the lamb slam. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Five more points. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Anchored by the hit and the distraction from our respite. I scream out, no roast muffin, mutton? Fine, it's time for some roast wolf. Nice. I Fly like into no a rage. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to breathe fire on these three wolves that are in front. That's that's a con cone, right? So that hits all three, yes? Uh, I think, wait, um, it's is the cone 15 or 20 foot? It's only 15. 15? Is it too far? Uh, that I believe is too far. You'd need to go five feet. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Um, or that that would be in range for all of them. Good. Well, I'm gonna breathe fire, and I'm doing it's uh two d six damage. Uh, and it's a deck save for all three. Ninety nine percent sure. Why is that with advantage? Hold on. Because is you have the advantage, advantage toggle onto advantage instead of nine. Uh, the nine is the first one that's rolled. If you want to just leave advantage on, just know that the left one is the first one that gets rolled. Okay. Um, so nine, five, and six. What? I assume all of those get hit? 
I think his DC is 12 or 13. Uh, it should be uh, 8 plus proficiency, which is 2 plus con mod. So it's either 12 or 13. The DC for this breath. throw is 8 plus constitution plus your proficiency bonus. And what's your con score? Mine is 3. 16. 3 or 16, which one is it? Yeah. The upper so it's 13. Or lower? Yeah, we're good. It's three. It the bonus is plus three. Okay. So the DC is 13. All right. Um, how much damage? Or uh, roll? Oh, yeah, seven. Hello, brain. Ouch. See, that's a I'm going to eat tonight. You know, I roar, my my golden scales glisten, I swell up in size, and I just go, mm, food. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I take particular delight in showing my draconic fangs. It's now the wolves' turn. Um, the three wolves, not really appreciating being lit on fire... <laughs> Uh, all look at each other and nod, uh, and they, well, I'm going to do one at a time. Uh, the first one makes a play to try and run for the, how, how do I do the line tool for, uh, it's the third, it's the middle, it's the fourth one down and you can click on a square and then drag fourth one down. Oh, he'll his toolkit looks different than ours. It's the circle with the ruler through it at like a forty-five degree angle. Um, so the first wolf is going to run to the sheep, uh, and pick it up and attempt to run away. Um, Do I get an attack of opportunity? Yes, you do. Yes. Oh. Um, do I take that now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I Eldritch Blast it? It has to be a regular. Yep. Okay. It has to be a, a bog standard tech, but you have your Pact Blade. Pact Blade. All right, let's do that. Oh, I doubt an eight hits. Uh, I. Wait. Eight does not hit. Damn. Sorry, sheep. Uh, uh and then let's see. How. Uh, sheep picks up um, picks up the sheep and then attempts to actually I think runs attempting to make a hasty retreat back while holding the sheep nice. uh, the second wolf uh no idea. I thought one of them was going to die. <laughs> um, are going to run up to Silas uh, after being lit on fire and try and cover for the other wolf. Um, both are going to make uh, 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 both attempt to bite Silas um, uh, and yes. That is not what I wanted you to do. Oh, yes. Um, and since they are uh, right next to Silas, they have advantage. Um, so do a 15 or a 16 hit? <laughs> Armor class <laughs> is 15. That's what you're looking for, right, AC? Yep. Yeah. Two hits. And and I need two strength saving throws from you as well. Oh, strength? Okay. Nice. <laughs> I think those are That'll close. That'll do. <laughs> uh, so the two wolves uh, lunge at uh, 
Silas and use their in um uh their attack they distract Silas so they can both sink their teeth into Silas, uh, but very feebly attempt to try and drag him to the ground with little success. Um, and are just kind of dangling awkwardly from a dragon and maybe rethinking their life choices. (laughs) 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 You, You see the little thought go through of, oh... Fuck. <laughs> I thought this going differently. <laughs> I, I envisioned this going much better than it has. <laughs> uh, Kara, it's your turn. Okay, so these two are both. These yeah, two yeah, are twelve, right? Six. They both. Uh, but he's got. He's raging. So. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both of these wolves are dangling off of Silas. Well, they're. Yeah, kind of. And They'll this let... one has the sheep? Uh, in its mouth and is running away. Okay. As this attack happens, Guthrie, the door! I know that. I say, and I, I'm going to do one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. That's 25. I move to block the door. Okay. And then I am going to... Wolf is probably really agile. Is the door behind me open or closed? Like, I'm assuming it's still swung open? It's still swung open. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to move a little bit... I'm going to move into the path of the wolf. Okay. And I'm uh, I'm going to attempt to grapple the wolf to the ground to pin him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've so... never done grapple in... <laughs> Any D and D game in fifth edition? Me neither. So try. Do I just roll athletics or? So if you don't have the grappler feet, which Kara doesn't, you make an athletics check, and the DC is ten plus the strength score plus the proficiency of the wolf if it has athletics trained, which I don't think it does. So it'll just be a base of ten plus its strength score. Okay. I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm guessing it's somewhere in the neighborhood of twelve to fourteen. So I have to beat a 12 or 14 on this roll. Yeah, if I still let you know in a second. Yeah. So I'm going to try that, and to do that, I'm just going to roll athletics, since I don't have grappling. Right? Yeah, Kara doesn't. So, athletics. Nice. Uh, and that that's 10 plus the strength modifier, right? Right. Uh, you pin that wolf to the ground. Oh, it's low. Yeah. Yeah. So that counts as an action, though, right? Yes, I believe yeah. so. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my. Uh, how does swinging? Attacking doesn't consume the bonus action for dual wielding fighters, right? I'm assuming. Like, I can't use my bonus action to swing with my offhand. Do I, I use Discord. I don't know. Hey, try. Sir, could I use my bonus action? Can I use that to swing with my offhand weapon or? I mean, yes, you haven't spent your bonus action for anything else. Um, but I, that's like a feisty question, probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, I just don't know if bonus actions can be used for attacks with, like, dual-wielding fighters, so... I have no idea either. Um, I have the player's so, handbook right in front of me, just in case, the, but... The grapple condition, I th- am 99% sure, uh, applies to both people, which is also a disadvantage on attacks. So yes, you still have your bonus action. Yes, you can use it to make an offhand attack. But I think if you're grappling, it's made a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bonus action to try, while well, the wolf is pinned, effectively, uh, at disadvantage to try and impale him with the long sword before he gets away with the sheep. It doesn't say, at least in conditions, whether it's disadvantage or not, but I can also try and look at grappling rules. God damn it. We could, we could also <laughs> just, you could make an executive decision and a house rule. Meg? That's true. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine house ruling it until I figure out otherwise. So I have disadvantage. So I click disadvantage at the top of my sheet, then I click with longsword? Uh, yes. Okay. 
And it takes the lower of the two rolls, I'm guessing, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is going to miss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Action Surge then to try again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> too bad for you ah five points <laughs> ten points that's two puns and one <laughs> things you. i do things i do to try and save a walking sack of wool uh so kara managed to <laughs> just get right on top of that wolf um <laughs> Kinky. uh grapple the wolf to the floor and uh feebly attempts to stab it but the wolf is just a little too wily to uh, quite get a connection for a hit. Um, the girl, Kara. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Do you want um, the R.A.W. on Grapple? Uh, yeah. Uh, so you, you were correct in that the status does not... Uh, apply disadvantage and the grappler himself is not considered grappled only the grappled character not the grappler it's all on page 193 for initiating and 290 for status okay so I, I, don't I... We, I don't think we retcon anything i just for moving yeah forward. no thanks for letting me know um my turn Paula. Yeah, your turn. <laughs> okay. Well, I Good was going to Eldritch bla Blast to the uh, wolf, but I don't think I'll do that because I might accidentally hit Swenties. So let's Eldritch Ouch. Blast yep. Guz with a 24. Yes. Uh, to Guz? Yep. Uh, that definitely hits. Sweet. 12 damage. Nice. Uh... Having uh, ducked under the whirling great sword, uh, Vala um, mutters an eldritch incantation and puts forth her palm basically right into Guz's face and lets loose an eldritch blast at point blank. That is exactly what I do. <laughs> uh, it is now the cloak figure's turn, who shrugs off. Uh, their cloak only to show that it is a large brown bear that comes uh, clambering in to through the door and uh, parks itself right next to Kara because wants to try and help its buddy the wolf that has the sheep. Sure. As a reaction, I'd like to cast not it. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very odd tavern we've wandered into. <laughs> I miss the zombies. Oh, this is getting a one-star review. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, uh, um, and uh, the bear is going to both attempt to bite at Kara and claw it. Claw her. Oh, Good luck. oh uh, God. <laughs> Is it with advantage or? It's not with advantage. Okay. I, uh, let me see if I can. I thought I fixed all of these. So any like if you drag any character from a source somewhere, I have found that roll twenty like defaults to uh, advantage. In the settings for this campaign, you can have all creatures default to uh, advantage, disadvantage, or toggle, where it'll ask you each time you roll whether you want advantage or not. So I think you probably have the campaign is set for just always roll advantage. Mm. But you can just you can turn that off or on the character sheet itself there should be a way to turn off the Yeah, I'm fixing it for level. the rest of them yeah. and I'll keep an eye on that for any going forwards. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, so I think the bite hit but the claws didn't. Uh that is correct. Okay. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage. Ow. Don't let go! Uh, the bear, as it comes up to you, tries to take a swipe with its claws, but as you are wrestling, the wolf makes it a rather interesting target to try and hit. 
but uh, with some mild frustration, just lunges its head down toward your shoulder and bites into you. That's right. Ow, indeed. <laughs> um, and uh, it is top of the order again, and Guz's turn. Uh, who is going to just do the same thing he did last time and hit both Silas and Vala again, or attempt to, uh, with the Whirling great sword to try and keep the two of you distracted from the wolf. Um. Oh. Uh, Meg, you had advantage on that Eldritch Blast roll, too. It's always Not fish for crit. Oh. <laughs> well, I missed it. So what happens now? Uh... I mean, we can just keep going and yeah, just like that sounds good. Let it roll under the table for now. <laughs> um, uh, first, first is Silas. Okay, and the second one. And okay. second one is uh, oh. Mala. Oh. I don't want it. <laughs> I yeah. I don't think Guz cares. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, he's I'm still sorry. got the on his face from the Eldritch Blast, so I'm getting very little sympathy. <laughs> but, I'm sorry, this is non-consensual great sorting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I would just try saying no thank you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, do I think I'll a, allow that. I have a pretty high persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Which might have worked had I not already had it. <laughs> I think it's to do my favorite DM maneuver. Oh, you know, that's a good point. Go ahead and roll persuasion. <laughs> 26 nat 20. Cool. Yeah, he still kills you. <laughs> but laugh while doing it. <laughs> All right. Um, so I that's 11 eight. to Silas and 8 to Vala. Um, uh, how, do I, how do I reduce that? Uh, you can just do... Wait, it what do you mean? Down. It becomes 5. Is that what okay. your question? Yes. Have rounded down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Guz, attempting to try and be a little bit more effective this time after being uh, both lit on fire and taking dark energy to the face, <laughs> uh, whirls with his greatsword again to hit both Silas and Vala, taking a little bit of a chunk out of each of them. Um, yeah. Um, Amara, it's your turn. Defend my honor, friend. If I were to move here, and assuming that I don't care about uh, Silas's HP situation, could I conceivably burning hands to hit Guz, both wolves and the bear? Uh, I think so. What is the range? Is it? It's a fifteen foot cone. Um, I'd want you to check and see whether you hit Kara or not as well. I think the template is do it. To exclude her. You have res uh what you call it uh resistance. I don't really think I'm gonna kill you. It seems unlikely. I have fire resistance, we're good. I don't know what resistance does, but hey. I think it halves the damage. Mm -hmm. Cool. So my interpretation would be that Kara's not in that because it it ticks out then in in a in a grid pattern so this one this square yes this square no this square yes this square yes this square yes this square no fine um yeah um i'd say that you can do that um then my only other question uh does does kara look uh grievously injured or out of her depth I don't want to metagame really, but um, I would say that choices were made. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th then, but, in our, um, but Kara may be looking. Good, I'll ask her yeah. for the thumbs up if she's gonna make it another round. Uh, Kara looks a little sheepish. <laughs> Five points for you. <laughs> <laughs> I take one. Recovering from the bite on my arm, I just kind of raise my thumb up in the air and, and just go back to 
trying to hold onto the wolf as I try and get my footing back. Oh, that one has to be red. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Never mind. I got a thumbs up. All right. Uh, then I'd like to try my burning hands plan. Then, if you're not going to die, uh, the reflex DC is 14. Okay. Um. Uh, that that that's Dex, right? Yes. Okay. Uh. I think it's. Would that be for Guz's recklessness? Since he's oh no, it's advantage. Um, so yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah, I don't get any benefit for the thing. Um, Guz did pretty good. Uh, w one second before you tell me the results of the damage oh. roll because I might want to re-roll the dice. Sorry, that last roll is a wolf that doesn't actually get hit. Um, I mean, if you want to take damage off, that's fine with me. I don't... <laughs> well, so, so you could hit that, but you are going to hit Kara as well. <laughs> no, I definitely don't want to do that. Um, see, uh, two, three, and three. Six, cool. I'd like to burn another meta magic point to reroll all three of those dice. All three? Yes, I feel like a two I can definitely do better, and three is only average, so I'm not losing a whole lot. Hopefully, are you kidding me? Apparently, <laughs> always going to be eight. <laughs> All right, how about they screw the pooch? <laughs> All right, the wolves. Um, well, the uh, the wolves are fiery cinders. Uh, so good job there. Um, cause it's looking a little worse for wear for that, and then the bear is not exactly happy about that either. Um, so Amara steps up right to the wolf, which is an interesting choice for a caster, uh, and lets loose a flamethrower from her palms, or a, I guess a cone of flame from her palms that both lights the table on fire, uh, as well as um, burning the wolves to Chris and singeing the bear and also Guz. Um, did Silas also roll to Dex? Right. Yeah, you only I only burned you for two. That seems fair. <laughs> oh wait, was that what happened? Well, what you was the succeeded on the dc 14 deck save so you only uh, take four points of fire which you have to two. Oh right uh i, I use the rest guz. of uh, uh guz took half because he succeeded his decks i think nice yeah he'll if he made yeah he made his decks so he'll only take two okay i assume he's a barbarian uh I've only moved one square to get to where I am. Are you cool if I run back over by the hearth here? Get as one, two, three, four, five-ish as far away from everything else as I can. Yeah. Chicken. Uh, yeah, I'm a mage at 18 hit points. I know my place. <laughs> Silas and Vala and uh, Kara get to wrestle bears. <sighs> and set stuff on fire when his back is turned. I'm done. Always stealing my fiery thunder. <laughs> Silent, uh, it's your turn. Can I move here without creating an opportunity attack of opportunity because I'm still within range? Because... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh sensing that the more imminent threat is coming to Kara, I move in and take a swing at at uh this bear with Minerva and I'm like, ha! I was been waiting for this day. Because <laughs> I dreamed of killing a bear. There you go. That's it. That's all. There's nothing special about it. I'm raging. <laughs> uh that hits. <laughs> <laughs> that's a mighty swing that's a nice swing fight me bear <laughs> yeah fight him yeah exactly uh, <laughs> I like bears <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
You're welcome. <laughs> you all. Um, uh, Silas, not one to back her own from a challenge, especially his dream of fighting a bear. Uh, though, I think maybe not the full dream of biting it, fighting it barehanded. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, swings Silas or swings Minerva down into the bear and takes uh, quite a mighty chunk out of. <laughs> we'll make a fight mighty fine rung. Nice. Uh, uh, and buries Minerva into the side of the bear. Um, not happy about it. Definitely hurting quite a bit from that, but not not down yet. Um, it's now the wolf's turn. Uh, so strength to try and escape from the grapple. Can you bear it? <laughs> I just had this. Here you go. Um, strength, contested strength check, or strength athletics. Okay, so I roll athletics with my strength modifier, or how do I do this? Uh, I think if you just click athletics, um, that'll roll the athletics check. Oh, yeah, because it has my thing built in, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, miss. Um, the wolf struggles to get free, but is incapable of doing that. Can the wolf still attack while it's grappled? Yeah, and I mean, it absolutely can. I thought that there was supposed to be disadvantage, but I agree with you. I don't see that in the conditions page as applying I think, disadvantage, though. I think that might be 3 5. Like a pathfinder yeah, pathfind yeah, path thing? Yeah, because I, I think there was more to grappling in an earlier version. Oh, yeah. It's a whole thing. It was a whole table. Uh, so it's just gonna try and bite you. Um, that is uh, my armor class is eighteen. That is a miss. Nice. Nice. Be very awkward if it hit, and then you would got knocked prone while grappling. <laughs> the, the reversal. <laughs> um. Uh. The wolf struggles to get free from Kara, but is very ineffective, or almost gets free, but turns out to be a little bit fruitless and attempts to then snap at Kara, but also can just not quite get its head close to anything that's important to Kara. Question, doesn't it have the sheep in its mouth? Oh, fuck, it does. It can't bite. <laughs> it just struggles. It is struggle. That's why it missed. Yep. Um, yeah, it missed because it has a shape in its mouth and it forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the wolf is still there. Okay. I love all of the puns. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Uh, Kara, it's your turn. Uh, you are grappling a sheep and you have a bear on top of you. Well, I'm grappling the wolf. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... I, I'm i gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work. I want to grab the wolf by the hind legs, and I want to swing him into the bear. <laughs> kind of like playing get help. But, but the sheep is in his mouth. <laughs> um... It's a woolly morning star. So you're going to swing the wolf that has yeah. a sheep in its mouth at the bear like a really weird hammer. <laughs> yes, like like grab it by its hind legs and like happy Gilmore right into the bear. Oh my god, this poor sheep. He's covered in wool. He'll be fine. He's got a brace. Oh, I just would god, that just be an athletics check? Um I it, I'd probably have you if it's if it's all right with you, I'd have you do two rolls. I'd have you do a roll for either like a, an athletics check, um, and then I would then have you roll to hit the bear. Okay. So it... athletics to grab and swing the wolf. I mean, you're already grabbing it, but you have to oh, pick okay. up the wolf, which is yeah. a different matter. 
Uh, I don't actually know if I... You know what? Fuck it. Sure, why not? Uh, roll the hit. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I roll? Um, Just roll a d20 with strength? I would, I would yeah. treat it as an improvised weapon, yeah. Yeah, roll a d20 with strength. So can I just click strength on a fire and that should do that for me? Um, ye- yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure you're not proficient in sheep wolf hammer. <laughs> but, but Fair really enough. Yeah. Because this is such a, a hairy situation. And oh, that's bad. Soft, would it be a softened blow? Nice. Oh, that's really bad. Um, yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, that. Wait. Oh, is that that's a miss or that's a critical miss? Critical yeah. miss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Across the tavern. <laughs> so. Whoops. <laughs> uh. How would you feel if this broke the grapple? I mean, I kind of assumed that was going to happen. <laughs> okay, like, I don't want to, like, do that to you if, like, you're like, what? No, but, like... No, no, I kind of <laughs> assumed what was about to happen when I did it. <laughs> okay, so... Kara, with a uh, burst of inspiration uh, and a, a mighty heave, picks up, or er, stands up, grabs the wolf by its hind legs, and attempts to swing... Uh, around and hit the uh, poor bear with the even poorer sheep and the worst of all wolf uh, but doesn't quite get it and instead uh, sort of just flings the wolf and the sheep at the wall uh, <laughs> how and do I you killed the wizard <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's got to at least stun the wolf <laughs> Uh, and it takes a point of damage from just getting smacked into a wall. Nice. That's one less thing we have to do. Well done. Can uh, Silas or I hear the sheep wizard cursing? Uh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, yes. Um, you hear some new ones. Like a couple of new ones that you have not heard before and uh, are surprising coming from a sheep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kara, you're going to regret that later. <laughs> oh, that could have gone. I'd tell you what he was really saying, but we couldn't afford all the bleats. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Points! <laughs> oh, that could have gone better. All right. With my bonus action, I'd like to try and stab the bear with my offhand. Go for it. <gasps> um, that strikes true. Okay. Surprise. Steel longsword more effective than improvised sheep wolf. <laughs> um, surprisingly, bears uh are not very agile, and they only have a thick hide, but not that thick. Nice. Um, yeah. Make a. I make a. Is this bear standing on his hind legs? Like, does he look like he is in his picture? Or is he just like kind of like a a forest bear on his on four? Oh, it's definitely standing on its hind legs. All right, I take. I'm gonna make a. Well, it's slashing, but I'm making a thrust at his neck. Well. Done. Um. So, uh, after the rather embarrassing <laughs> attempt of the new improved sport of playing golf with bears using wolf sheep hammers, uh, <laughs> very, very Scottish. I don't know you, but it's very Scottish. <laughs> That's the most Scottish thing I've ever seen in a D and D game. <laughs> um. Really? Uh takes the short sword and lunges straight for uh, the bear's neck, um, plunging deep into the bear that just slumps to the ground dead afterwards. Good job. You killed a bear. You stole the kill from Silas. Bye, bear. <laughs> so, so that was hammer throw U.0. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I Bye, just boy. look at everyone kind of looking at the wolf, like kind of motioning back and forth. <laughs> Did you want me to just let him go? I had to work with what I had. That's right. I think you did great. Yeah. That was my bear. <laughs> you can have him. He's still right here. Oh, my turn. <sighs> okay. What a growler. I guess account. bears back on the menu, boys. <laughs> nice. I. I think I'm just gonna try to eldritch blast guys in the face again. 
because that went well last uh, time. Who are you Eldritch Blasting? Guz. Uh, you have advantage. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't roll with advantage. I'll just roll a second time. And I guess the 14 has it. Uh, the 14 hits. <gasps> Yay! Hey! Nine damage. Uh, Vala, not one to, let, to stop a good thing from keep going, uh, puts up another hand to shoot another volley of uh, dark, shadowy energy into Guz's face again, landing home, um, which Guz is not exactly pleased about. Um, and uh, he's about to show me how displeased he is. See, I mean, I guess you are. <laughs> Packed in the blade warlock, but I don't know how much melee you're really supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I move, he's gonna get me. So, yeah, I feel like he's gonna get you anyway. I mean, he is. He's just gonna keep doing what he's doing because he's really good at hitting stuff with a great sword. Um, and repeats the same process of trying to hit Silas and Vala uh, with his great sword while being well, reckless. We don't know anybody like that. Could you imagine that? <laughs> Yeah, that would be really uh, annoying. Such a one-dimensional character walking around talking about his sword hungering. <laughs> I get uh, the point. <laughs> uh, first is Silas, second is Vala. In this case, literally. <laughs> I assume they both hit? It looks, I would think so. Um, so, Two, 11 three, to four, seven. five. The second one's me, right? So I take five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just t take a moment to appreciate how fortunate you are. You <laughs> over the slashing damage dice, it tells you what he rolled. He couldn't have done less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lucky. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Like he'd like to do less, he just physically can't. <laughs> it's because you're not supposed to hit girls. Um, Gus is an equal opportunity fighter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um <laughs> why why is Silas taking half damage? I'm raging. And ah. I take reduced damage from piercings, uh, slashing, and some, uh, yeah, stuff. Actually, from everything except psychic, because you're a bear. Yes, team. everything except psychic. Cool. I didn't know that. Um, Am actually... I ruining your fun? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm having a grand time. <laughs> All of this is grand. <laughs> uh, Amara. All right, so does the wolf down here with Kara still have the sheep in its mouth? Oh, yes. A All little right. dazed, but still has a sheep in its mouth. Then I would like to take out the burnt twig that I always keep with me that was from a tree struck by lightning, mutter a few arcane words, and let loose a bolt of blue electricity. I'll cast Witch Bolt at it. And you can ask me which bolt, but I'm not sure. I thought you'd know. <laughs> That it definitely hits. Sorry, I still have advantage. I rolled. <laughs> Five points of lightning damage. Uh, you uh, strike the wolf dead. Yay! <laughs> uh, which. Doop. And because of the conductive property, do I kill the sheep also? That's a great question, actually. <laughs> How much health does the sheep have? Um, hold on a second. Wulu is quite hardy. It'll survive. <laughs> Very important question. Did they accidentally kill the sheep? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, let's see. That would really end the story before it begins. <laughs> <laughs> There's no mechanic for Witch Bolt arcing to other players, but... Hmm. 
Where's the pony? Uh, I mean, it definitely zapped the sheep too, but the sheep is still fine. But like, oh, that was not a fun time for that sheep. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing none of this has been a fun time for that poor sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's just like gone from I'm a sheep. Now I've been picked up by a wolf. Now I've been picked up by a human while also being picked up by a wolf and smacked into a wall. And now I've been electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'll run my fingers over the charred piece of twig arcing light from it and just look at him and go. <laughs> <laughs> and the sheep suddenly questions all of its life choices for coming into the tavern and asking us for help. <laughs> I'm not going to ask him for gold, but if he's going to ask my friends to put their lives on the line, he gets a little shocked. That's part of it. Uh, the, the shock of his life, if you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call this one the shocker. Oh, no. <laughs> you have no idea <laughs> what this sheep is thinking. <laughs> you do because you cast a scroll. I think <laughs> I'm going to stay where I am and I'll be done. Okay. Uh, Silas. Um... Uh, advantage, right? Against Guz? Oh, yes, you do have advantage against Guz. Finding myself suddenly deprived of foes and not having gotten to kill one of them. Stop taking my kills! I turn around and in, still enraged slash with Minerva at Guz. That'll hit. Damn right it will. <laughs> oh. I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, it does hit, but it does not kill Guz, unfortunately. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Silas. Um, uh, Silas, being very frustrated of losing all of the kills so far, uh, s- turns back around to Guz and swings Minerva into Guz, uh, uh, and cuts open I guess like into his side and is like bleeding out and is really the worst for wear covered in burns of at least two different kinds of magical energy um, but uh, is still trucking along barely I just wanted mutton <laughs> uh, the sheep is a little frightened by that <laughs> And inches slowly away. <laughs> um, Kara. Kind of afraid to take the kill from him. <laughs> I mean, Vala might. I was going to say, if it's not you, it's going to be me. We could both defer, but then he gets another turn. Come on, guys. He's raging. Let him have it. Otherwise, it'd be like a real sheep shot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I hate you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I, on the other hand, love you so much. (laughs) Oh, oh my God. All right. Do you need a moment? (laughs) I'm going to move over to the sheep. I'm going to go down on one knee, and I'm going to look him straight in the eye. And I'm going to say, I want to try that again. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, but I, but I won't, because I think I might kill you. So I'm uh, in. Oh. The uh, the sheep bars, which uh, Silas and Amara hear as red. Um, as in, never mind. Uh, clearly doesn't want that <laughs> to try that again. Red what? Because you cut out. Oh, I just said red. Oh, just red. Okay. Um, I am... Uh, hold on, where was that thing? Like, I'm gonna... Here, hold on. I'm gonna position myself. Uh, so I moved one... Two, three, four. All right. I'm going to position myself here, and I'm going to prep one of my lightning javelins, or javelins of lightning. But I'm going to I'm gonna pass my turn on the idea that 
if this guy lives, or if he attempts to strike anyone, then I'm going to throw. Because I'm going to try and let Silas get the kill. Okay. Um, <laughs> Everyone, <I> please. <laughs> I, I fully expect you to kill him, by the way. Okay. Vala, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to roll advantage. <laughs> And I'm going to try to kill him with an Eldritch Blast to the face. I feel like a 20 That'll would hit. Bloody witch. Yeah, 20 would hit. Hey, 14! That seems good. <sighs> Silas puts his fa- palm to his face. <laughs> uh, that, uh... That kills Guz. Um, uh... <laughs> Vala going for the hat trick. Uh once again reaches her hand out with a uh Eldritch Blast at point blank range, and this time just blows Guz's head clean off. I guess it was knocked loose the first two times. Um and uh <laughs> that's uh Bob's your uncle. If, if is this Amara's new trait, she got a book of puns and this is all she does now. <laughs> It's my, yeah, my contribution to the character. <laughs> I mean, my contribution to Kara was was wolf golfing. So. <laughs> I, I feel like someone should pick up the sheep and run around the room with it. Should what? If we're out of initiative order, yeah, we should confer with the sheep and make sure that A, he doesn't need healing. Not that anybody here really can. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're, we're out of combat at this point. Uh, I think everyone needs a bit of healing. That was a rough fight. With a uh, slash yeah. wound? Yeah. Fine bright, round of ale on me. Let's go. My, Ooh, I'm going to go back to the mead. bar and uh, grab my mead. <laughs> going to do the same. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to sit over here. Well, I since think... you two can talk to the sheep, you guys can listen. <sighs> we should uh, probably take them away from the door. <laughs> The sheep will join you at the bar and also have some meat. <laughs> He's had a long day. That's fair. <laughs> You're invisible. <laughs> so are these, are the people that we just killed uh, known to him? Uh, they are. Actually, um, I... Yeah, that's how that works. Um, as you have uh, each each of the, like, all three of the wolves and the bear as you killed them uh, turned back into uh, humanoids uh, so that they were not actually wolves or bears, but had been uh, polymorphed into them. I don't even get um, to have a rug. I'm, I'm going to search their bodies and see if there's anything of interest on them. Uh, I mean, yeah. I have no idea. Um, I would no say, <laughs> I mean, they don't really have much on them because they didn't think that they would need anything besides just plain clothes since they were bears and wolves. Uh, most of their effects they left back where they were coming from. Uh, so, unfortunately, not really anything of useful unless you want a dirty old cloak that the bear was wearing. Well, let's go get their stuff. Where are they from? Well- could, could you describe it? Was it Threadbearer? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, as, as Amara, um, I suspect the ability to cast Polymorph this many times on this many people um, suggests a truly powerful foe. I'd like to ask the sheep if uh, Finithir knows who's casting all of these polymorphs because to my knowledge that's a high level spell Uh, you would be correct actually um uh and uh he is happy to tell you the tale um i've also shared oh hey i can share characters um i shared both uh Find their shine bright and also guzz to everyone if you just want to read the short little bio on each. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, 
brain. Um, so um, Shine Braid is happy to tell you his tale um, and what has befallen him and about the the wizard that he needs you to take care of. Um, so until about two years ago, uh, he owned and worked out of a tower on the outskirts of town. And he was a wizard of uh, no small talent, specializing particularly in transmutation magic. And his most prized possession, and probably the key to his success, was an incredibly rare wand of true polymorph. Uh, uh, but one faithful night, he ended from his meditative trance to find his apprentice, Abed Noak, standing over him, clutching the wand. Shinebright demanded to know what the boy was doing, but the only noise he could produce was a very angry bah. Um... The wizard became a virtual prisoner in his own garden, and he was forced to graze on nothing but grass and buttercups while hungry wolves and other beasts, actually polymorph guards, looked on. Last night, he felt hope for the first time in many months when Noak left his home without closing the door. Shinebright snuck in, made his way to the old bookshelf, and stole the scroll of Speak to Animals. He then rushed into town with the scroll clenched between his teeth and was searching desperately for the aura of magic, that would indicate someone able to activate the spell when he found the party. Um, and in order to turn back into his original form, he needs another dose of true polymorph, which means he needs access to his old wand. Uh, his former apprentice still dwells in Shinebright's old home, located just to the southeast of town. He keeps the wand on him at all times and only leaves that he absolutely has to. He knows his old home layout intimately and is more than happy to describe it in endless detail. That could be helpful. Uh, tell me, Shinebright, we've ostensibly just committed murder uh, trying to save you here. Why should we care? What uh, is what has this apprentice done to you? Maybe you deserved it. Uh, I don't... Uh... I clearly just trained him in the way that I've been trained previously as as my apprentice. I would treat him as any other human that I would interact with. Um, and as I have mentioned, I am a powerful and wealthy wizard, and I can give you great rewards for helping me. Go on. Oh, well, I have plenty of gold from all of the lucrative contracts that I have taken on over the many years of my life, as well as artifacts that I have uh, uh, acquired. I like gold. I like, I like artifacts. artifacts. Got anything to make me stronger? Uh, he might. Um, Cart before the sheep here. Um... <laughs> What's to stop your apprentice from just using the wand of true polymorph on us? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's anything that would stop him from doing that. So we'll just have to be especially careful. Yes. Focus on the element of surprise. Uh, is it, to shine bright's knowledge, is it the kind of magical implement with a limited number of charges say like if it had three charges i could send a barbarian a uh, warrior and a <gasps> in first. you wouldn't <laughs> and then if all three of them became sheeple i might be safe hypothetically um he doesn't know if it uh i don't know um He's used it his whole career, and it's never not worked. Yeah, he's never had a problem with it, so he doesn't know if that would cause any issue. Um, That's but... impressive. A guy of his age, they usually start having problems with their wand. He he uh. <laughs> he... <laughs> he he needs some vitamins. <laughs> Works out, goes for runs, yeah. takes good care of his body and his wand. <laughs> Um, gets, regular, uh, gets regular use out of it. <laughs> uh, a puff of smoke back. rises from my mouth as I glare threatening at Amara, suggesting putting us three first to be transmorphed. There. Just, you put the heavy hitters in the back, that's all I know. 
<laughs> well, if we're going to take this on, we should probably discuss health pots to bring ourselves back up to uh, fighting. Yeah, where is his house in relation to the tavern? Um, it'd be about like a mile or two out of town. Um, but uh I'm also happy to let y'all take like more time to plan and rest if you wanted to take some time to like scout or plan based on what you know of the area um what time of day is it currently it's like the later afternoon i feel like he's gonna know that his number two is missing though because they came into town looking for him we're gonna lose the element of surprise if we're concerned about him using the polymorph wand on us mm-hmm I feel like you may have seen him flee and chased him into town after him. Yeah, I mean, we have possibly the element of surprise if he hasn't come looking for his dead guzz yet. Mm -hmm. um, I also just... I don't... <gasps> we have the cloak! Our biggest guy could wear the cloak of the dead bear. Mm-hmm. Or and we can try way. to find We can our... Dread Pirate Roberts him! Nice. <laughs> ah! Mm -hmm. That seems good. Just uh, need a wheelbarrow. As you wish. <laughs> <laughs> but soon, you will not be here. Yeah, exactly. Because then it would be easier for us to get up there to investigate if he thinks that we're one of his people. Does the Wand of True Polymorph... Uh, always cast, I guess, does it always transmute into mammals? I just don't want to be a chicken. I can't go off half cocked. <laughs> uh, it can do all manner of things. Uh, you could be a chicken. Who knows? Um, so I think at the very least we should take a short rest, spend hit dice, get HP back up. Um, if that seems agreeable to you guys, then we can at least, what do you think about going to the, um, the homestead and just scouting things out. Also, right. normally when I run this, I can also. I'm happy to let, let everyone just heal to full, um, and I don't mind. But if you want to do just short rest, I'm also happy to let that go as well. But I want to leave those both as options for you all. I I'm the only one who's got spell slots to worry about. I would love a long rest just to get spells back, but uh, uh, I think I need a long rest for my action surge or for my. I think you get that back at the short. Short or long rest. Okay, yeah. You know, some health would be great. So if it's late afternoon, would a long rest put us early the next morning? or It's eight hours roughly, so we could get up. You know, if it's four or five now, we could sleep for eight hours and be up well before dawn. Okay. Arrive at the house like before dawn, yes. I'm a fan of this plan. Give me the cloak. <laughs> Uh, you are noticeably smaller than the bear, though. But that's okay. That's we're going to Dread Pirate Roberts it. We'll all stack inside the cloak. <laughs> Did you not watch me in rage? <laughs> we'll put the I do swell to impressive heights and sizes. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't I'm call you... I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> I wouldn't call you large. I'd still call you a medium. <laughs> wow. Not even extra medium? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> extra medium. <laughs> All right, what do I roll to get health back? While they're discussing thing. this whole Holocaust cloak in a wheelbarrow plan, uh, Mara <laughs> is vocally very supportive and nodding in agreement, but every time they look at each other and leave her alone, I'm going to turn to the sheep and go, not fucking do it. <laughs> uh, if we take a long rest, uh, then everybody just goes back to maximum hit points. Yeah. Well... I'm going to sneak behind the bar uh, again. We'll are there accommodations the here that we can we'll avail ourselves of? Or are we like woodlands camping? Uh, we'll there is a com I have, there's accommodations here, even though you can't see them. Uh, but nice. yeah, there's accommodations. Uh, they're separate to the, the tavern itself. But Okay. Um, do you guys have any qualms about sleeping in a place that we just almost burnt down while we beat up and killed a bunch of polymorph people? Hey, we're still waiting for the mutton that you guys ordered, so I say it's fine. The hey, only other where I travel, I sleep for free. <laughs> the innkeeper would like to have a word with you. 
I'm going to argue with the innkeeper. <laughs> like, did you not appreciate my our fierce uh, and wondrous, glorious performance we put on for you? That was quite a show. You're going to have legends to tell for for years to come and seasons to come. The, and the parents will be in awe over the stories you share about what happened here today. Legends I'll, don't pay for fire damage. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll gently <laughs> pat him on the back, stroking uh, his ego. <laughs> while slipping five gold to the innkeeper um hopefully that more than covers the fire damage uh yes the uh uh the innkeeper gives you a, a nice and curt nod and then goes back about his business um i can just breathe fire again and burn the whole place down yeah if there's any patrons left in the establishment <laughs> we'll talk him up giving him a round of applause using prestidigitation to create the roar of a crowd the mighty silas ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yes more <laughs> really stroke that ego <laughs> look i'm an old arena fighter this is what i live for mm -hmm. I, I use that magic to create the fanfare everywhere we go um cool um everyone's healed back to full silas is uh, not yet neither is kara oh yeah sorry yep um so question for us to consider what do we do with shine bright the sheepish wizard part of me doesn't want to leave him here he because needs to come with us but at He's the same time the we're bringing him back to the lion's den like probably literally <laughs> and if i don't we're know that i love that a trap either. i feel like he should be there with us i mean i guess it would be nice to have like on hand intel about the layout and stuff. I don't know. Maybe there's not a safer place than with us. Does anyone yeah. have a bag of holding that we could shove him in? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you suffocate in a bag of holding. <laughs> you don't. You don't tell them that. <laughs> it would keep him safe. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I, I get the feeling that like maybe maybe the sheep is not really into that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, he's got to be the top of the dread pirate robbers anyway. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, this All sounds right. like a bad idea. <laughs> nice. Five points. <laughs> Which is what uh, he uh, says. <laughs> um, okay. We could always like leave him in some shrubbery close by. No, I feel like we either need to find a safe, like permanent place to keep him hidden, or he needs to stay with us. I don't want anything in between. I just don't want, I don't want to get to a point where we're ready to, what was the apprentice's name? Noak? Yeah. I'm I don't Nook. want to get, yeah, I don't want to get to a point where we're confronting Noak and then have him be like, oh, hey, by the way, found your little sheep friend out here. Put down your weapons. Yeah. Because then we'll have to kill him and the sheep, and that's just dirty. <laughs> hey, uh, bright shine, room with me tonight. I'll breathe fire at anyone that attacks you. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, I've, I think that sounds like a reasonable um, arrangement. <laughs> right, and then we'll uh, take him with us in the morning? Yeah. Okay. And I'll move everyone over to the next piece, but also this is probably a good time to take like a 10, 15 minute break. Perfect. So Works for me. Yep. At half. Okay. Uh, that okay. should move everyone over.
stupid game with that stupid Is Dax back as well? Dax! Vala's poking Silas in the abs. I don't know, those are some pretty solid abs. Are you sure he feels it? Poking steel. It might be a function of the new map, but my character at least has become desynced. Yep, same here. I'm going to reload here real quick. Uh oh. Apparently, dragging from the compendium does not uh, quite do the thing. Um, let me try that again. It's really, I don't want to say finicky, because thats I'm sure that there's a methodology that the computer checks something and decides what it's going to do, because it's a machine. But sometimes it really just feels uncertain. Hey, I have hit points. Yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thanks. Silas. Right. Um. Do. Let's do it. He'll catch up. Uh, rather than stone or glass, the house before you seems to have been formed from the living branches of four sturdy, sturdy oak trees. These have been shaped and woven to create three thick platforms. The lowest of these platforms is roughly 40 feet across and sits about 10 feet from the ground. The only obvious route up is a gentle slope formed of roots and branches that connects roughly with the main path. Branches curl around its base, creating a rough but bull shape a rough bull shape around it. From where you stand, it's possible to see flowers and small trees growing around its edge. By far the largest of the three platforms is the middle one, which looks to be around 60 feet across, is about 20 feet above the ground, and is fully enclosed with a small, uh, uh, with a wall formed from twisting branches. You can see evenly spaced window-sized gaps, as well as what appears to be a door at the point closest to the garden platform. The final tallest platform is roughly 30 feet above ground and is much smaller than the others. It looks to be linked to the central platform by another small slope. Scattered beneath the platforms are two small wooden hooks and a large uh, outhouse. Um, you can also see three uh, apes with swords. Uh, playing dice in the field uh, next to some of the small huts. Oh. I don't have to be on the map, but just so that you're there, I'll let you y'all place where you want to be. Um, but this is the layout of everything. Um, in here is a sort of study and library. Um, this is a... Uh, I guess a living room with like a fireplace and uh, a, a sitting room. And this is a kitchen and dining room. And where does he say Noak spends most of his time? Where does what? Uh, where where does Noak spend most of his time? In, in this you're, house? You're cutting in and out. I'm getting only the first two words that you say and then nothing else. Yeah. That's weird. How about now? That sounds better. Better? Oh, okay. Where does Noak hang out in the house? Does he have like a certain spot that he usually spends his time? Uh, usually spends most of his time in the workroom area. Okay. And can we and see the... anybody in there? Um, roll a perception check for me. Uh... I'm assuming it's not supposed to be with advantage. So seven. <laughs> um, uh, those are some windows. 
Sweet, guys. I saw Windows. <laughs> good at this game. I only have a one perception. Was this everyone can roll perception or just you? I mean, you can pro roll perception too if you want. Silas, with his keen dragon eyes, uh, is able to spot uh, Noak working uh, on a project within his uh, uh, workroom. Here. Where? Um, Got it. You should, should be able to see him now. Um, I look at Vala and I say, hey, Vala, you see those windows there? Ah. Through that window, I can see Noak. He makes jokes. Windows are the eyes of the house. Are there any Looks other like he's ways... working on something. Are there any other ways into the facility other than that first platform? <laughs> And there's windows. <laughs> Other than windows, does our sheet friend have any suggestions? <laughs> uh, not entirely. Um, those are really the only ways in and out. What's the elevation? Uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, how high off the ground is the room where uh, Noak is? It's about 20 feet off the ground. Okay. And the first platform ramp is here? kind of taking you a switchbacking path up. Is that what I understand? Uh, Yeah, the ramp up is here, and that one's about 10 feet off the ground. Okay. Yeah. Um, does uh, asking Shinebright, is there any reason to assume that the ape guards are anything more than just more polymorphed henchmen? Uh, no, they're definitely more polymorph henchmen. And is this, uh, in for the purposes of arbitrary navigation, if the top is north, we're in the northeastern corner. Is that, is that because that's the direction we would have come from, from the village? Uh, no, that's just where I put you. Um, okay. You can come from whatever direction you want. Well, what do you guys think? Do you want to work our way around to the henchmen guards and deal with that so that we at least have one less potential surprise? Or do you want to try to sneak in past them? I'm I'm guessing you don't try to climb up the wall into the window of a wizard's sanctum without him noticing. That does seem like a bad idea. I think, I think surprise might be our best bet. So can we use some line of sight? Like if we stay in the trees and come down this way and then go like underneath this one platform, which is 10 feet, can we use the line of sight from this outhouse so that the gorillas can't see us to get up the entrance? I think so, but I'd still want probably everyone to make a stealth check. Okay. Would you guys want to try that instead? Because we can just see these guys. We don't necessarily know if there's anything else waiting for us in that corner. You Is said there anybody this who's... Go ahead. I was going to say, you said uh, this platform here is only 10 feet off the ground. Is that something that we would be capable of jumping in our state? <laughs> Being what it is currently and what state would that be perfectly fine health athletic individuals i mean you could attempt to jump and climb 10 feet up without anyone hearing you <laughs> in broad be... daylight so i guess the <laughs> question for the group is do we want to go and fight the gorillas that we know are there or do we want to try to be sneaky if we have a person among us who's especially stealthy because i am not I don't mind scouting out this first platform or the outhouse and seeing what's around, but seeing the gorilla sentries there, I feel like at some point, if anything goes wrong, 
they're waiting to storm into whatever we've already stepped in. I think it's better to eliminate them now as a known quantity, so that way we only have to deal with the surprises we don't know about. What do you think, Sventis? I want to fight. If you want to try to sneak past them, I can always try to distract them with some kind of prestidigitation. Spenties, are you? How far does prestidig? Oh, yeah, how far <laughs> does prestidigitation reach? Sorry, uh, I have my fan on. Oh, you're so. right. It's very short. I could send them a message and try to confuse them, or I could just set something on fire. Can I throw uh, Mr. Bright Shine as a distraction? <laughs> No. Oh, you totally could. I don't know how that'll work, but like, <clears throat> I'm sure that would be quite effective. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh. Uh, Silas is somewhat eager to fight to to get a kill or two in, but he will defer to the group decision. Get one kill in. <laughs> get it, because you didn't kill anything. I just No, you're pretty Noke good with is... fire, but just think, can you handle it? <laughs> Noke has got to hear us if there's combat outside, and if we're worried about him using the polymorph wand on us, I don't really want to give him the opportunity to. Oh, right. Surprise. Yeah. yeah. My stealth is only a two, though. So if anyone has a higher stealth than that, the rolls have not been kind to me. Not me. I've only also got a two. Two. Hmm. We are not a stealthy all the heavy bunch. hitters. None of the stealthy people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, if we fail our stealth check, the gorillas come check us out anyway. So. It's uh, an awkward time to have Silk sit, sit this one out. <laughs> yeah. All right, so it's all good. Consensus on trying with our stealth of two and fighting if that's the end, or do you want to just run in and get the gorillas? I think we try with stealth and we go, we, uh, we roll with the punches. Hey, I got a seven. Super not Ooh. stealthy. <laughs> and this is just a move to, like, here, right? Go, Silas! What can I say? I'm on a roll. Ha. Huh. Dang. <laughs> Me and Try rolled at the same time, so I thought I got a nat. <laughs> how, do you, how do you roll a, a zero? I don't have proficiency in it. I have zero on my dex modifier. <laughs> so Spendies and I are over here and we're just like, Hey, ho, oh, did you guys make it up? Oh yeah, you guys did really good. Okay, we'll be right there. Wait. Did you roll dex or did you roll stealth? I, I rolled stealth. stealth. You okay, see it in there. Everyone rolls stealth. I, I get it. I understand now. I so, totally... uh... Silas and, uh... Uh, Amara, surprisingly, are very quiet in moving amongst the shadows to try and get closer to uh, the uh, house. Unfortunately, <laughs> somehow, uh, Vala, leading up from behind, steps on a rather large branch and snaps it. And weirdly, uh, Kara steps on the same branch. <laughs> <laughs> and snaps it even more. <laughs> that makes sense. Turns out it was also a polymorph guard. He says, "Get off my dick!" <laughs> no, that was a mimic. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> the <laughs> the tree branch laughs. <laughs> uh, the apes definitely perk up. Um, and heck. They hear, but do they actually see anything? I'm just going to pretend that I ended up where <laughs> I am right now. And 
Um, one of the apes is just really fucking intent on the di- di- the game dice. Doesn't know this <laughs> damn thing. Yep. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's tree sounds. Trees make those sounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the second ape definitely pricks up is like that was weird uh, and the third ape is like that was really weird trees don't snap twice <laughs> uh, and uh, decides to go over and check it out <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what do you do as the ape is walking over towards where you all are Silas, and about that was to your chance. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I would try to draw them in. Oh, well, shit. I don't know. He's so far away now that if you don't kill him in the very first strike, he can call for help or run back and get his buddies. I'm gonna throw the cloak over the sheep before he walks around the corner and has a chance to see him. I feel like at at least then he's not laying direct eyes on the thing that they're trying to claim. Yeah, if we've got a round before combat starts, then I'll ready. Uh, firebolt to be cast if he sees us and engages okay um so i mean question i know i totally just kind of casually threw myself over here is that actually where i am or am i with the party back here a few steps i mean it's wherever y'all want to have been aiming towards uh for where you wanted to sneak to um i'm not gonna say where it has to be but perfect The sheep is hidden. Thank you. Keep it's it very secret. Important to me to keep him secret. <laughs> keep it safe. <laughs> oh, also. Is it safe? Also, <laughs> there's a tyrannosaur. Hurrah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm so in for this fight. <laughs> da, 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 da. Can't I roll Persef? Uh, uh, you won't be able to roll for a character that's whose token is not on the map. No, it just it didn't give me an option to roll perception for uh, Noak. So. Oh. I need to instead. Could you say that the sound perhaps was muffled by the walls of the hut and he didn't hear what the gorillas heard? Oh yes, it's definitely going to be with disadvantage. Um, <clears throat> the, they're, they're still, they're windows, but they're not windows that are like made of glass. They're just open air thingies, which is a technical term that I just made up. I like it. No, and we we actually like to collect drawings of Renaissance era open air thingies. <laughs> hey, we'll take a seven. Very specific. Uh, yeah, uh, Noke is too engrossed in his studies to notice that that is going on. But I uh, yeah, um, nothing else hears you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just the <Honest>. two. <laughs> I have to build dramatic tension somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Just the tip. All right. Uh, so... so you have a couple of seconds before this ape uh, discovers all of you. What do you do besides uh... hide the sheep? A, I mean, it's either we either try to avoid the fight or we commit to the fight. If you guys want to fight, then let's just move in and go all in on this ape and finish him before he gets to act, or we go down the path of trying to distract him. Let's do. Would it. you say that you would go ape shit? Ha! I would go. I am preparing <laughs> to go ape shit. <laughs> hey, since we're next to each other, we get advantage on our initiative roll because of our rings. Uh, um. Try sending him a message pretending to be Noak and telling him to take everybody to the, you know, northwest side of the thing because I saw something. Seventeen. I wonder. Thinking that... Considering I'm further ahead and realize this ape is so close and knowing that it hasn't noticed me yet, can I just... 
ride this stealth roll <laughs> and rush it and try to slash it with Minerva before anything happens. Yeah, I mean, I would allow for a surprise round for this. Um, uh, because the ape is definitely a little surprised by the very stealthy dragon. Surprise! <laughs> then I think that's what I will do. Do I roll initiative first, or do I rush? Uh, I'd have you rush, but also uh, roll initiative as well. Okay, well, I'll, I will figure out where's my character sheet go. There it is. Eh, could be worse. Um, may I? You may. <laughs> oh, God. Crit, crit, crit. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, that, that ape did not see that coming. Um, nice. <laughs> let me pull up a bunch of different character sheets, though. That's, that's a 20. Poof. Oof. Uh, nope, I'm on the wrong layer. Uh, well, Silas leaps out from behind the tree and then just casually cleaves the uh, ape in two. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Left in twain. <laughs> in twain. I got a kill. I am pleased. Nice. You may all continue. <laughs> Are but you are you, are you happy visible? with yourself? Are you now visible to the gorillas? Uh, I uh I smirk snidely back at my party. I mean, if you want to try and try and do that stealthily, you could try and roll another stealth check, but I think the other gorillas were kind of watching to see where the third one was going off to, so they probably just saw you. Oh, I like fuck. to think that they see him now looking back over his shoulder and smirking. <laughs> All sheepishly. Uh, <laughs> you know, this tree is kind of like half in that one square here, and this building <laughs> has a portion in this square here and here. And not to mention there's this ramp coming up here. I think there might be some justification for a slightly obscured vision. Of a giant dragon cleaving their friend in two. <laughs> okay, but there is definitely a line of sight for this one. <laughs> <laughs> um uh out of i have a, a question about how um roll 20 works for a second sure. um am i able to roll turn order for a character that is not visible yet and is still in the gm info layer and have it not show up in the turn order no it will show up but you can like just roll it privately, and then when you want to add him later, you can just right-click on that token and click Add Turn, and it will put him in. And you can just I... adjust that number. How do I make a roll private? Uh, you can whisper it to yourself. How do so I whisper it? Slash, uh, slash whisper GM space roll 1d20. Uh, I got error, but uh, slash roll space one d twenty. Is it? Hmm. Am I doing the slashes wrong? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the slash that is the question mark. Ah. Yeah, you're doing forward slash backslash w space gm. Ah. And you should get a drop down once you start typing of who you want to whisper to, but GM should be the top one with a roll of G. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's not letting me roll a 1d20 uh, with the whisper. I did yep. that wrong. <laughs> uh, 
uh, then just click the roles to private on the character sheet. There should be a more elegant solution, but if you click on the cogwheel on the character sheet, um, there should be like a role query. Uh, that's where you'll select your advantage toggle, no advantage or always advantage. But yeah. directly below that, you have whisper roles to GM, and it'll be either never whisper, always whisper. Ah, and I can also have whisper toggle. Got it. I don't know if that worked. Yep, that worked. Uh, cool. Um, that was probably also a uh, rather loud uh, cut into. Uh, but let's see. Apes howl. <laughs> yeah. I very Do I surprised. get hit points still? <laughs> I think, do you get bonus hit points for killing something? With Minerva? Uh, yeah, I believe you do. I don't know what the bonus is. It's five temporary hit points. Thank you. I am stronger. Oh, why did all of those... <sighs> okay. Um... Everything is hard in roll 20. Uh, it decided to start whispering all of my initiative rolls to me. And that's not helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's somehow it's not as helpful as I would think that it would be. Um, I see initiative too. We'll just pretend we don't see any of that. Um, Oh, I guess it showed the initiative. It just didn't somehow add it into the turn order for Probably reasons. Because the token wasn't selected. Ah, that's annoying. Uh, Silas, yes. what is your dex? Mm. No, he's dexed. <laughs> <laughs> two. Uh, that's a plus two. Oh, my dexterity itself is plus two, which the total score is fourteen. But two, I don't know. Yeah, um, a fourteen. Yeah, okay. Uh, that gives me what I want to know. Um, Amara, mm -hmm. it's your turn. You uh, just saw Silas cleave an ape in two. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'll Why does everything rhyme? To there, and I will prepare a firebolt for the first enemy target that comes within the line of sight. Okay. Ah, uh, excellent. Vala, it's your turn. I can go 30, so... Let's go there. And I will hold. You have to state what your action will be and the conditions under which it, you'll do your thing. I don't see a bad guy coming yet, but when I do, I will shoot him in the face with an Eldritch Blast. There you go. Excellent. Oh. Sorry, that's just how the rules work. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Silas. Mm -hmm. Considering how far away I am and how open I am at the moment, I am going to step so I'm slightly obscured, and I will hold my action ready to strike with Minerva. I don't know what that uh, means, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, out of the outhouse. Uh, Which one's that? Oh, yeah! Up there! <laughs> we know the answer now, guys. Appears <laughs> another bear. Uh, which... 
I need to add to the turn <laughs> order. Sure does. Yes, the answer is yes. And uh, let's see, how much? Yeah. Oh, I forgot bears can climb. <laughs> um, the bear is going to come out of the outhouse see his buddy that is uh has a splitting headache <laughs> <Roving in twain. laughs> make a rather hasty interpretation of what currently happened especially seeing the bloody great sword uh <laughs> and uh charge up to silas to avenge his friend's death nice. attack attack <laughs> uh and is going to both uh attempt to bite and claw you since he just approached can i swing uh, you can swing. Cool. Jeez. <laughs> <Holy gasps> <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> uh, Minerva's hungry. Come at me, bitch. <laughs> Are you even raging? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, Silas is feeling a little impotent from all the lack of kills that he got in the last fight. <laughs> Making up hey, for it now. Hey, we again. <laughs> uh, well, the bear does charge up, but is surprised to immediately get a uh, greatsword to the face, but does not stop it enough to keep it from attempting to both bite and claw um, uh, Silas. So... But I think the bite misses, and but I think the claws strike home. Yep. Okay. Yes, they're gonna hit for sure. Uh. And the full ten. Whew. Okay. So here's what Does happens. The bear enter line of sight enough that Vala and I can use our ready actions. Uh. Yes, it does. I. Uh. Yeah, I would say that it probably does. Mick, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You deferred first. I will uh, cast Firebolt. Jeez. <laughs> it's not do anything for spells, though. It does. If a spell has an attack roll, it's double dice. Is it really? Because I yep. thought it didn't. Oh. Heck. <laughs> 15 points of fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Is the bear dead? More henchmen! <laughs> <laughs> Bring me turtles. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is what happens. <laughs> Bala, do you want to take an attack too, or are are you good? Well, I mean, he's dead now. There's nothing for me to attack. <laughs> I mean, Eldrick Blast is a cantrip. You can still attack it too if you want. Just to beat it. I attack his dead body. <laughs> just to beat a dead bear. Yep. <laughs> No, I'm going to keep mine in the holster just in case. <laughs> okay. Um, the bear, only having seen Silas, runs up to Silas to be very surprised by immediate greatsword into the face, and then is followed up by being lit on fire by a firebolt that also came out of nowhere, to which uh, the uh, bear is like, well, this has been a poor choice in my life right before it dies. <laughs> So the two other apes, how many more times do you think we can do this? <laughs> <laughs> the two other apes just see the uh, sword hit, but then see a firebolt come out of fucking nowhere and are very concerned because it just killed the bear in about six seconds and are a little bit worried. <laughs> That's not where the ape should have gone in the turn order. <laughs> Heck, you'll have to manually move him. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, shouldn't he be going ahead of me, or...? Yeah, the ape should have gone before Silas. Um, anyone mind if I just make the apes go now? Nope, go for it. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Well, it's not like they can do much more than... Uh... <laughs> Run in oh. to get cleaved in the face? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Wait, how far was that? Okay. So they make a dash forward. 
to at least check out what's going on. Um, one of the apes is in line of sight for Vala. Woo-woo! Eldritch Blast to the face. <laughs> oh, you're turning green. Dang it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. So, 14. Uh, a 14 hits. Okay, I'm hitting this one closest to the bathroom. Uh, uh, that, one, see that one. Oh, that one's, this is the I one think? that I can see? Yeah. Okay. Then I hit that one with 14 to the face. <sighs> Total facial, Lafleur. It's pretty good for a non crit. Back maximum damage. You rolled a 10 out of your d10. <laughs> Jeez. It's like a critical hit. <laughs> Kara! Um, I can do stuff! <laughs> you can do stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hold on, I gotta do some quick. Five... <laughs> okay, so I can't really... These poor enemies. And then from there, it's what? 50? But I'd be kind of going through. Uh... You said this platform that the other people are close to is 10 feet off the ground? Yeah. And that would be acrobatics, I'm guessing, to try and climb up it? Yes. But I yeah. think that would. I think climbing would be like an actual action. Yeah. Is that right? It should be. Well, my two senses climbing is athletics based, and it, he can attempt it as part of his move action. Okay. But yeah. Failure consumes all of his remaining move. Yeah, you okay. fall on your ass. So I'm gonna move here. And I'm gonna try to... So, athletics. I'm gonna try and climb up to here to get up onto the high ground. So, like, grab onto the roots and, like, pull myself up. Does that work? Yeah. All sure. Right. Only if you tell Try it because you have the high ground. <laughs> I think right now Noke has the high ground. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say that that you're able to climb her up, um, but it does consume my remaining ten, my remaining two moves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So would you say I have line of sight on the apes, or would the angle not allow for it? Sure, I'll say you have line of sight on the apes. Okay. Uh, I. Uh, hold on, let me open up Kara's character sheet and see what I have here. Uh, let's see. The apes immediately regret their decision and are maybe considering running away very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bob the Bear? You're still oh. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to just try and light crossbow the injured one. Okay, roll to hit. Yep, that's oh, that's not how we open it. That's also not how we open it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, just yeah, I'm just gonna pop it out. That's so much easier. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Uh, light crossbow. Uh, that'll hit. That's a hit. Okay. My map is bugging out. I can't see the thing. And a little, a little tech. Okay. So Kara takes a running, uh, well, runs at the tree and takes a running jump and clambers up to onto the platform and then pulls out her crossbow to fire a single uh, crossbow bolt at the injured ape. Which strikes true, which is not fun for the ape, uh, and it's barely on its last legs, but it's still standing. Um, it is Noke's turn. Whew. No, no, wow. you don't want any part of this. Uh, so, uh, um, No. I 
think I have this right, but please feel free to let me know if I have this off wrong. I think what Noke is going to be doing is uh, hearing the clamor of battle and things dying outside his home uh, is going to walk over to the uh, window to see that not only is his bear, but also one of the apes dead, as well as another one about ready to die, and the third one looking about ready to bolt, realizes well, this is not going well <laughs> at all. Uh, and uh, uh, Cass Expeditious Retreat, um, which allows him, I think, to Uh, take a dash action as a bonus action for his turn, if I have that right. Mm -hmm. uh, and goes, fuck, 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 and runs into the uh, bedroom, which you can no longer see. Do we see him retreat from that room? Uh, no, he's just in the bedroom. No, no, do we see him retreat from the first room that he's in? Uh, yes, uh, you see him go across the uh, bridge here from the big one into the smaller one. Got it. <clears throat> so. Is huh. it my turn? Yeah. In turn order for everyone else, does Ahmed Noak still show up in the turn order? No. Oh, cool. So you can add people to a turn and then not have them show up. Yeah. It, well, I imagine he's on the GM layer right now. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you'll still see him. Um, I'd like to see if the sheep uh, shine bright knows what's in the room that the wizard just retreated to. Uh, from talking to him previously, he has noted that that's just a bedroom. Uh, and is uh, it contains little beyond a wardrobe, a large wooden bed, and a cluttered dressing table. There's not really much going on in there. Okay. Uh, if I move to here, can I see both of the apes? Uh, you can. Then I will cast Firebolt at the one that's critically wounded. Okay. Oh, two points of fire damage. Hopefully that was enough. Well, it did exactly as much as a crossbow bolt, so... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Amara steps fully into view for both of the apes uh, and lets loose a small ball of fire that goes streaking from her hand towards the ape uh but and which it takes square to the shoulder but it does not quite drop it but a stiff breeze could knock this ape over that's um, it for me Vala. all right i am going to move oh meg your voice is cutting out again. Oh, I wonder if my um, headset is dying. Or if my mic was just in a weird spot. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move. Nope. You lost me. It's cutting in and out. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I'll plug yeah. it in after this. Um, I'm going to Eldritch Blast this one. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. That'll hit. Okay. Do do do. Uh, and anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. It is the apes' turn. Both the apes look at each other, look at the situation at hand, look back at each other again. Both nod and uh, dash the fuck away. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. 
they out. <laughs> um, uh, they're still in range, but they'll be gone within the next turn and aren't really much of a threat anymore. Uh, Silas. Uh, I would like to take this uh, moment to casually remind you that I do have danger sense and dexterity saving roll for traps. That said, I am going to... Why can't I click on the hero? Make sure you have the select tool. There was a lot of people drawing ruler stuff. Make sure you have the arrow select move. Alright. Oh, it was weird. <laughs> I am going to proceed up the ramp. Uh, how far can I go? Uh, measure, I guess. Um, where's the fucking measure tool? I think like around here. I'll go here if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. And I will. I'll wait my next turn so I can dash into that house. Uh, cool. Uh, Kara? Yes? It, what, what are you going to do? Okay, so where's the sheep currently? Right there. Okay. Hiding underneath, underneath the, the cloak. cloak. Yep. Uh, the here, tree. let me put him back to be visible. I kind of like wave my hand at the sheep, like, hey, get up here. I have an idea. Uh, I don't think a sheep no, can me. climb uh, 10 feet up. Let's throw okay. him. Oh, boy. Go the long way around. <laughs> you have legs. <laughs> you are a beast of burden. You can move fast. <laughs> True. Be a lamb and carry me. <laughs> are, are we still doing this according to uh, like turn and combat rules, I'm guessing? Or... Oh, yes. You're still in combat. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so I have an idea, but I need the sheep. Oh no! Because <laughs> I, I look at Silas and I says, "Can you get ready to break the door down?" Or do we even know if the door is locked? I guess. Is you have no idea if the door is locked or not. All right. Well, I'm just gonna for now. I'm just gonna wander on up to the front door. Yep. And I I'm gonna try and open it. Uh, the door is locked. Okay. Door is locked. But he does have the uh, open windows. Is there a uh, on this central building there? Is there a window to my left? Uh. Sure, but you would or need. Is a... there an open window? I guess. I mean, they don't really. The windows don't really close, so it would have to be open. Um, yes, there is a window to your left, but you would have to make a pretty good athletics check to get to it. Okay. If only we brought the thief. This would be so much easier. <laughs> I have the chimes of opening. Oh, yeah. I could also try to slam into the door and break it I think it the best way... I'm going to make an athletics check to jump for the window. To try and, like, grab onto the window edge and, like, get myself in. You're going to fall work? and break your neck. Sure. Uh... Oof. Oh. You should yell, sheep, catch me! <laughs> <laughs> so, Kara... Yeah? <laughs> How high up is he? 20 feet. Oh, uh, you're 20 feet off the ground. And 20 feet's nothing. Eat your damage. Uh, how does falling down <laughs> work again? Uh, it's 1d6 per 10 feet of fall. Okay, so 2d... Um, Kara, uh, 
doesn't really get to make a running leap this time and just sort of like tries to just straight leap towards the open window uh and gets not really that close uh definitely missed that that angle a bit and instead goes just hurtling towards the ground and i'm so take. she's true to form as compared to last time she was played yeah, yeah. using Fall my the uh, gladiatorial the arena soundtrack i'm gonna make the boo <laughs> sound echo all around us and takes five points of falling damage of course I do. I'm sorry, Aceventes. <laughs> I did this to myself, but Kara's bullheaded and stubborn, so she had the idea. She has to do it. <laughs> Make Just land on your ass. I tell you to look before you leap. <laughs> um, cool. <laughs> Wait, I learned that lesson last time. <laughs> the uh, you don't hear anything happening in the bedroom yet. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we gonna kill these gorillas or? So that's my question what for you guys. Thinking? If they're if they're running and they're scared, odds are they're not coming back. And if they do, they'll still be critically wounded or half damaged. If you want me to murder them, I will. But I think there are better uses of our time at the moment if stuff's, if stuff's going to run away from me I assume generally speaking it's probably not going to turn on its heels immediately and change its mind about fighting me what if they well, do what do? It, like I say if you want me to kill I'm happy to do it those discussions between the two of you uh, the other the two of us are otherwise distracted alright I'll <laughs> fireball's got a range of 120 feet so I'll try casting on the one that's got just a little bit left you monster. <laughs> uh, that'll hit. Uh, yeah, no. Um, Amara, not a wanting let... Ugh, how do I word? Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Amara, not wanting to let uh, one of the apes get away, uh, lets loose a uh, bolt of fire directly into the running ape's backside uh, and just smiting it to death. Nice. Oops, Do you want me to kill the one that's one? in the turn order. Um, what? I'm asking Megan if I should kill the other one, and she's nodding in the affirmative. I wanted to do other things, though. Well, then do other things. Well, if you want him dead... What is the... Well, I, I was asking for my turn also. What is the range on Eldritch Blast? Because if you want to shimmy on up there next to Silas so that we can all be together I can try to kill it with Eldritch Blast and then come up and join you now you will be able to see that on your spell if you look in the upper right hand corner you've got three tabs core bio and spells if you click on the spells tab got it okay thank you yeah 120 feet okay now don't forget if they act before you they're going to move another 120 another 60 feet away from you yeah but it looks like you'll go before they do um the house the this structure you said was made of wood right yes interesting <laughs> uh-oh guys <laughs> she gonna set on fire I, I, how hard would it be to either set the small bedroom antechamber ablaze or at least burn the the root bridge that connects the bedroom chamber to the main house um, since it's living wood that's not dried out, I'd say it'd be a little bit difficult to set the tree itself on fire, but the wood bridge between the two being dead wood might be a bit easier. Hmm. Uh, it is hard to light living trees on fire. It is. Filled with sap and stuff. I think I'll just um, spend two sorcery points to quicken another firebolt and try to kill that last ape. Roll to hit. <gasps> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum damage. <laughs> oh, no, not quite. I guess it's a, a d10. But 
I'll take 16 out of 20. <laughs> <laughs> See, now uh, they're not and... going to get friends. Uh, Amara <laughs> quickly focuses again and flicks very faster than normal another firebolt out that smacks the other ape directly in the back and puts a hole through the ape uh, <laughs> killing it as well known pendulor apist Amara Saro arrested today <laughs> <laughs> Uh. All right. Do you have any move actions left, or are you done? Uh, no, I moved to get to where I was. Okay. Hmm. So I basically, for my move, can go here and then up one. Don't forget, if you're not going to make an attack, you can use your action to dash, moving another 30. Okay. Well, I guess I better not actually block the bridge so that you can get through there with your <laughs> key. Okay, that's my turn. Silas. Um. Break down the door! Yeah, I was going to try to break down the door. Go ahead. Roll a strength check for me. Uh, actually, I think it's athletics, uh, if you have that. I, I have athletics, yes. I has it. I have strength, I have athletics. What am I going to do? There's athletics. How would you like to break down the door? <laughs> 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 well, I'm feeling on a roll from earlier and enjoying the uh, sheer strength I've displayed so far. <laughs> and I just charge the door and just shoulder into it. Will you say all aboard the pain train, though? <laughs> <laughs> all aboard the pain train! And you can hear the train in the background road right now. Chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> all aboard the pain train, friends. Uh... So, um, you, uh, weirdly, because trains don't exist in this world, so you have no idea what this sound actually is, but you hear a disembodied train sound. Uh, <laughs> as, a uh, Silas just rushes shoulder first into and through the door, uh, which is just splintered apart. Nailed it. Um... Do you have any movement left, Silas? Let's see, I was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm just going to continue to stumble through slightly one more space. And I think that ends my movement. Yep. Kara, you just fell on your ass. What do you do? I did, and I'm having to take a dash action to try and jump for the window again. But the door is already open, so I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to dash one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm in here with Silas. I just walk up to him and like, show off. <laughs> <laughs> could have done that without destroying the door. Or you could have hopped on and rode the train. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is a I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Probably don't. Uh, you still don't see anything in the bedroom, but you do hear a very loud roar. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Bears? <laughs> I'm all right. It's your turn. And which way was town? <laughs> it was it was louder than a bear. It was a lot louder than a bear. <laughs> I feel like I'm I've got an 18 charisma. I can make new friends pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Um, is the <laughs> wizard sheep moving towards us at all? Ah, uh, no. It's staying where you said for it to stay. <laughs> It can if you want, but I think you basically told it to stay underneath this cloak. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Have him leave leave him here in the bushes? The the threat lies before us, so hopefully that's Would he be safer hiding under the platform? Like in the mm-hmm. middle, where he's sheltered from above and obscured from view? Maybe. I just don't want him leveraged. I feel like it's gonna be a hard enough fight anyway. Yeah, maybe we keep him with us. Maybe just call the sheep to stay out of sight under <laughs> under heavy cover somewhere. But at least, like, here That's... he might be closer to us should we need to react. I mean, I would say that he's already out of sight and under heavy cover um, okay. for now. So right. if I'm that's a thing that you're worrying about, you you shouldn't have to. I just broke down a door. I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, our roll's tight. Oh, boy. What's it going to be? I'll move to there. And I'm done. <clears throat> Good luck, everybody else. All right, and I can uh, move through a else. square that someone is standing in, right? I just can't land in it. Yeah. You can move through friendly squares, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to ready an Eldritch Blast. Okay. And this here is a door into the living room area, right? Is it open or closed? Uh, it's... I mean, right now it's it's open since uh, Noak just ran really fast through and didn't even bother okay. to close it. Silas. Huh. <sighs> Continuing with this uh, momentum I'm feeling, I'm going to go ahead and move. Six, I'm here. As you can now see into the bedroom, uh, you see Noak uh, riding uh, a beast that uh, looks like a dragon carved from wood with oh. billowing bed sheets for wings and a tail oh. that ends in a soft pillow. That's amazing. My comfy wooden brother. <gasps> That's awesome. I'm going to sleep in you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you say any of this to the rest of your party? Or do you let it be a surprise? <laughs> um, surprise dragon is best dragon? <laughs> <laughs> I think I am slightly enamored by the sight ahead of me and enchanted. And all I say is, yes, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Knowing his um, thirst for bloodlust, that does not sound good. Yeah. Like we read between the lines and know that Silas is about to fight or fuck something to death. <laughs> Possibly both. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, give him a wide berth. <laughs> um, I'm thinking, uh, shit. I mean, I'm happy to leave it there and put it on Takara's turn. No, I, I'm deciding if I want to enrage now or the next turn, because if I don't attack anything or take damage, I lose the rage. I'll hold. I, I hold my action. I hold my action. That's what I do. I'm feeling pumped. Okay. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn. Like, yeah, I wasn't actually making. Okay, uh, I would like to. Oh, sorry. All you have seen is uh, Silas <laughs> run into the next room, stop, and just stare. Okay, you don't know what he's yes! staring at, but he's staring. <laughs> um, I would like. I'm in the workshop currently, right? Yes. 
I would like to roll a perception check to see if I notice anything that looks like strangely like weapon like or magical. Like something that I look like that looks like a weapon. I mean, sure, roll perception. Okay. Um, I mean really this is just a combination library and lab. Uh and there's untidy un untidy bookshelves lined with much much how do I word Jesus? Um, there's un untidy bookshelves which line much of the outer walls, and work tables are covered with stacks of ink spattered notes and complicated animals, beasts, and monsters. There's not really much that you'd see that would be really weapon like that would not be immediately outclassed by any weapon you already have. Okay. Um... Could we all agree that at least almost everything in the room is an upgrade from a sheep? Sheep <laughs> wolf hammer. <laughs> I don't know. I I really think that that could have been a thing. I'm really glad that missed because I don't know how I would have rolled damage for that thing. <laughs> okay, so you said alchemical supplies. Would there happen to be a vial a vial of alchemic fire in here by any chance? Like liquid uh, fire or did I say alchemical supplies? I said anatomical diagrams. Oh my bad. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm sure you I'm... could light a poster on fire if you really wanted to, you pyro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, pretty, pretty sure that's a Marlin job. Words in my hands, yeah. Yeah. All right. Or so mine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk up behind, what? walk up behind Silas. Go. So, uh, what you looking at? And I'm walk past him, and uh, look into the bedroom. And I'm assuming I see what I see. Oh yes, you see also the. Uh, uh, bed dragon wormling. Okay, so is Nook on top of this? Yes, he's right in that dragon bed. <laughs> is he considered? Is he considered a separate unit or? Uh, yeah, I think I would consider him to be a separate unit. Though I would say the bed dragon is probably a bigger threat. As in, if I get rid of Nook, he the bed dragon won't stop, or um. Uh you don't know. Don't know. Okay. Well, seeing what I see, I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to kind of brace myself against the wall. And I'm just going to kind of think. And I'm going to wonder what we're going to do about this. <laughs> we're going to burn it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm going to breathe on it. <laughs> Probably. And uh, I guess I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> or, just to confirm, there is a wall behind me, right? Like, it's not like an open window or anything? I mean, it's a wall, but I would remind you that it's made of wood, and you're fighting a dragon. Also this is wood. fair. Uh, also made of wood, but... I don't know. Roll, roll an intelligence check for me. God, why am I rolling intelligence? <laughs> sure that this wall is going to stop a dragon. I I am sure or not sure? You're pretty sure that's not going to stop a dragon. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to move to this door. Does opening it cost an action or can I just no, like kind of Okay, I'm just going to move into this room. And just kind of hide over here. And that should be... One, two, six. Uh, I should be right here. That's as far as I can go. From yeah. I'm just going to kind of look into the dining room and be like, I think I'm safe in here. Do you know? I hope he says that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> That's bold of you to assume. Uh... So, um, I'm just going to have the bed dragon run at the same time as Nook, um, just for simplicity's sake. Mm -hmm. uh, the bed dragon. I love this <laughs> so much. Uh, and the bed dragon is just going to fly straight through the wall into the living room as it can see the two of you having gone. It can fit through that door? 
Uh, it doesn't fit through the door as more it makes a bigger door. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like it. Um, two. Two. It's also flying. Um, but considering it's in doors. I don't know here. It just beeline straight for Silas. Um, <laughs> and yeah, let's just do that. Uh, it uh takes a bite or attempts to bite Silas. Oh, I should open that. Oh yeah, I have that macro. Kind of wish it would breathe fire on me, but hey. I readied an action. <laughs> you did. I, or no, I held an action. That's what I did. I didn't ready an action. Darn, I didn't specify either. Fuck. Okay, you never mind. That's what you were gonna do. <laughs> Ooh, boom. Boom. A uh, firework just went off down the street somewhere. Okay. Does that hit? Um. Yes. Because that's against my AC, right? Yes. Yeah, the hits. Oof. Okay, ah. well, I'm going to lose my temporary health points of five and then take ten damage. Uh, that So the bed dragon with Ahmed Noak riding on top of it um, crashes through the walls of the bedroom into the walls of the sitting room and tries to chew a new one out of Silas. Uh, after which, um, oh, oh no, um, that doesn't sound good. Is that, please hold for a second. I'm trying to remember what some of these spells do, um, Yeah, that'll work. Um, as uh, Ahmed riding the uh, dragon gets into range, uh, then cast Thunder Wave at uh, Cyrus as well. Which I'm now a pop singer. Call me Miley. <laughs> he casts. Ooh. Well, I'm not going to use that spell slot. <laughs> <laughs> I need a constitution saving throw from you. Uh, that does not do it. Even if I rolled a 20, it wouldn't matter. Oof. Yeah. If you rolled a natural 20, then it would have uh, missed. Is that 21 points of damage, if I'm reading that right? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Probably as a 15 foot cube. Um, does that. Would that also hit Vala? Through the wall? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a cube, so if you're hitting Silas with it, I don't think there's a 15-foot cube that also includes her. Oh, uh, yeah. Because she's four squares away in that. I forgot how 15-foot yeah. cubes work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Silas takes 21 points of thunder damage. Bastard.
Oof. Amara, you have no idea what just happened, but you heard a really loud roar and a crash. <laughs> I don't want to. Alright, and Nook is riding the dragon? Yep. Can I see the dragon through the doorway there? Sure. Uh, uh do, go ahead. Sorry. Question. Um I just looked at my inventory and the greater healer pot is still at zero from the last session. Is it supposed to be zero or would I have resupplied? I didn't decide on that. Um try how do you feel about them resupplying um in when between I, Yeah, when I made them my my two cents on the matter was like that was just supposed to be the de facto equipment that they would start any adventure with um it's entirely your call whether or not having a healing potion like that sort of screws the balance of your game session you were already more than generous letting everybody rest overnight before we started this so um i think i would probably have it still be used up uh for now okay that's fine um, thank you Sorry. Um, that answers my question. Especially since you just trashed everything up to this point without <laughs> much issue. <laughs> well, until now. Yeah, but up until now, the only damage done to any of you was because someone fell on their ass. <laughs> Thanks for um, the Venties. Yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> you realize yeah, combo I breaker. lost more than half my health in one go. <laughs> Your combo breaker. I mean, I guess it's a fair turnaround. All right, I'm thinking just for one second. I'm sorry. Sure. Um, do I know, uh, in an arcane sense, am I familiar with this creature? Um, I'm guessing this is not something that exists naturally in the world, but... Uh, no, this is one you... Or roll, roll an arcane check for me. Uh, this is the kind of shit that you get up to when you fuck around with true polymorph. Cool. Well, then I'm going to default to my kill it, kill it with fire plan. <laughs> okay. Um, I will attempt to cast my second level spell, Scorching Ray. And before you tell me whether or not it hits, I have favored by the gods which, if it's not going to succeed, I can roll 2d4 to add it, possibly changing the outcome. But I'm not supposed to use that in, if I know the result yet, so... Uh, I won't tell you if any of them hit until <laughs> you want me to tell you. I think I can intuit roughly what's going to be a hit or not, but... All right, here we go. I feel like that one's probably good. That one's definitely good. What? I feel like we're going to do all right on that one. <gasps> So, um, go ahead. Uh, should I tell you if they hit or not? Yeah, I'm, I'm confident <laughs> that all three of those are hits. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, all of them miss. <laughs> um, yes, all three of them definitely strike home. Okay, we'll roll the non crit first. For four points, I'll burn a sorcery point to re roll those 2d6. your last sorcery point for this i have one left okay uh then the first critical i will i'll reroll both of those i can roll up to four dice so the th the the i'm keeping the eight the four and the four but the three that was a one and a two is what i'm rerolling so 8 plus 7 is 15, plus 7 is 22, and the last one hits for 15, so that's 37 fire. Jesus Christ. Uh... <laughs> is it dead? It's not 
dead. Technically. That's also technically not alive. I mean, it is a flying bed dragon. My god. Try, try. I think you left it with one. Nice. <laughs> ride it, ride it, ride it, ride it. Oh, man. If only I didn't spend my last... I have... Of the three times I've now run this, I have never had anyone anyone steamroll through this so fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I guess I'm... Uh, so, um, Amari, do you want to describe what happens for that one? Uh, it takes double damage because it is in fact made out of wood. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, tracing my signature try sigil in the air uh coating it with fire i issue forth three searing bolts of arcane fire whoosh, 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 engulfing him channeling that heat and watching him burn to cinders i am a little bit irked that it didn't quite kill him i stamp my foot like a petulant child but turn to the rest of the party expecting them to finish the job because i mean it's about time somebody did something <laughs> <laughs> Well, let oh. me just step in and see if I can hit it. <laughs> actually, actually what, what I'll do is turn to Vala and mime like I've hurt my back. <laughs> from when carrying he, this team. When he inevitably asks what I've done, I'll say, oh, I'm just so sore from carrying this team. Yep, mm -hmm. that sounds right. Oh, I'm right. sorry. You didn't cleave a drag uh, <laughs> a monkey in two. All right. Uh, can I attack the giant flying bed dragon from the doorway? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, well, then let's try to hit it with an Eldritch Blast. That's not going to do it. Oh, that does not do it. Uh, the Vala takes a shot towards the uh, Red Dragon, which is very large uh, with her signature Eldritch Blast, but it just goes right over and hits a lamp instead. Do I have something that lets me reroll? Sorry, I'm asking. It is flying, so it is harder to hit, even though it's gigantic. Oh, okay. Oh, All you right. can reroll. Well, that is my turn. No, no, I don't. I he was telling me that I had some other spells, and I wasn't sure if I had one that could let me salvage that. Okay. Uh, okay, then I'm just gonna go ahead and peek back over here so that I'm not in the line of sight of the dragon. <laughs> uh, it does get an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. Um. Can I help <laughs> if it hits me? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Knowing that it is on its last legs, it's going to breathe in deeply. Oh, and, you guys are going to get breath weaponed. Uh, showers both He's Silas and Vala down and down in a right now. bevy of splinters. I just want you to know how excited John is that this is happening. <laughs> um, Fucking Christ. Okay, and what uh, do I roll to try to dodge? A uh, deck save for both of you. Ooh, Ooh. that's not going to do it. <laughs> Can I just be enraged <laughs> and not take that much damage? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Good luck with your deck save. Woo, you uh -oh. did it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Uh, I, I hope that's a save. I'll that take, is definitely a save. I'll take my 23 damage. <sighs> I'm going uh, to... You only take half of that. I'm going Jesus to hellish Christ. rebuke you at level 2. 11. So I take 11, right? Yeah, is you take 11. Happen? Yeah. Down to 7 hit points. That's what you get for killing a bear. And a monkey. Oh my god. I believe that misses. So it says uh, it says five points of fire damage. <laughs> yeah. That it takes two D ten fire damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. So it takes 20 points of fire damage uh, between the two. Um, 
Hellish Rebuke is in, as an action to, for getting attacked? Yes. It's a reaction, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, after letting off uh, a misfire of an Eldritch Blast, uh, Vala attempts to s step away, which catches the dragon's attention, which breathes in as a last uh, ditch effort of to shower both Silas and Vala in a shower of splinters, which Silas narrowly avoids and only takes some of the splinters to uh, his hide, uh, narrowly missing a va rather um, uh, pointed fate. Uh, but Vala takes the brunt <laughs> of the splinters as she... Uh, oh, straight um, to the face, as I was trying to Straight run. to the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and an annoyance shoot snaps her fingers uh and shoots fire back at the dragon which uh immediately turns back into a bed that is now on fire hey um you can show your damage i can what you could show your damage oh if you wanted that's okay because i moved back here so now i'm n not in noak's line of sight and do I have any more actions, or am I done? Can I drink my healing potion? Uh, I yeah, still you can have drink one. healing. Sweet. Yeah, you can drink your healing potion. I can give it to the dragon. I was going to give it to you, but now I need it. <laughs> How do I use it from my bag? Uh, you can't. There is no function like that. It's 2d4 plus 2. Okay. If it's a regular healing potion. <laughs> so, 7. I get 7 hit points back. Mm-hmm. Yay! Double digits. Okay. Holy shit. Alright, it, is it... Oh, now it's Silas's turn. Uh, yeah, Silas. It's now your turn. Enrage! May Enrage! I, <laughs> I think you were very generous in giving me that space, but Silas is also at a point of desperation and rages. Oh God, why is it doing that? And while enraged, swings Minerva. Metal hit. <laughs> 21 points of damage. And that's double sixes. <laughs> uh, at the same time, I'm shouting out, Goosery, get in here! <laughs> <laughs> I already killed the dragon. Can't handle one feeble old man. <sighs> Gold dragon needs health Look, badly. If he's not dead, I will be. <laughs> it's okay. Kara's got your back. <laughs> Speaking of which, Kara, yeah. it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you, you missed all that bed action. <laughs> don't don't phrase it like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so <laughs> is 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 the burning bed still <laughs> there, or is, has it like at disapparated? It's still there. It's very much on fire, though. So there's a burning bed between me and the wizard. Yeah, which Silas has climbed on top of. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Very hot situation. Is it bad that I just want to stay on board? I just want to, like, running tackle the mage? Uh, I mean, you can try. I think that would be a grapple again. Just kill him! <laughs> pin him to the burning bed and go with him. No. Um, oh, burn your okay. beautiful face so no one will want you. <laughs> so, bait is like the bed like in these four squares, or is it just kind of like where they're standing right now? Yeah, it's in those four squares, um, where they're kind of standing. Typically, those. Okay. So um, there. I'm not resistant. <laughs> I'm not resistant to fire, so everyone just pile on the bed, I guess. Uh, no, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw a javelin of lightning at him. Uh, roll to hit. Yep. Actually, I'm gonna 
I'm going to one, two, three. There we go. Now I have a straight line, just in case. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. you critically miss. Uh, that'll oh. hit. Okay. Oh my god. That's 1d6 plus 4. Wow. Nice. So, 5, um... Wait, hold on. It was a hit? Hold on, let me read the... When you hurl it, it's speaking commands were transferred to the... Each creature in the line extending from you and the target must make it uh, take half as much on a successful one. When it reaches the target, it make a range weapon attack against the target. When it hit the target, it takes it from... Oh, and then it also takes 4D... Wait, try, is that accurate? It's it's a once per day activation. So if you want to use it now, it becomes the javelin becomes an arc of lightning, but then just is a mundane javelin for the rest of today. I'm gonna use the command word, and I'm gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna roll four d six lightning damage. Nice. And the wizard gets to reflex for half if memory serves. Yeah. Uh. Make a ranged attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes damage from the javelin plus 4d6 lightning damage. Okay, so it's already hit. Got it. Yeah. Well, we just everybody else in the line gets to deck save. Oh. So he takes another 13. So he takes 18 total. But is 18 a save? I don't actually save, I think. Yeah, because he beat the wizard's AC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the the deck saving throw is only it's only for people in between me and the target, like as a as a lightning bolt passes through them type thing. Got it. Cool. Uh Ahmed Noak in a last ditch uh uh ploy uh pulls out the wand of true polymorph and points at himself. Unfortunately, the wand sparks, and instead of whatever he was intending to turn into, uh, he turns into a writhing mass of mouths and eyes. Ew. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I need... Uh, Silas, Kara, and Vala to all make wisdom saving throws for me. Oh god oh, damn it. God. We're gonna end up as a part of this thing, aren't we? I don't Wait, like that. 16 is not me. terrible. Uh, everyone's fine. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. <laughs> I don't know if Silas can take anymore. <laughs> um, I think that would be its turn. Um, so, <sighs> and to give Silas a break because Silas is gonna die otherwise. Um, Amara, I can't move because if I move away, I create an attack of opportunity. I, I don't think through. you can quite see what it is yet, but if you got closer, you could. Can I see it through the door here? Yeah. Like outside the room. Okay. Uh, speaking out to it, does it seem to understand my voice? It does Has not. It lost all human intelligence. Yes. Does what the wand? Is it? is it still holding the wand? Is the wand on the floor? Did the wand become a part of the fleshy mass? The wand sort of is sticking out of it. You. Not really a part of it, but like is in it. Out. It's sort of like hanging out of one of the mouths. Uh, uh, I guess I will offer the mass of flesh and eyes one last chance to surrender and return the wizard shine bright to his mortal form, or he will face the fiery wrath of my judgment. It doesn't understand anything. Oh, good. Fiery wrath it is. Scorching ray. Uh, standing by to use, favored by the Oh. Ones. 
Uh, mm, uh, we'll see what happens. With that one. Yeah, we'll let those exist as they are. So the ground in a 10 foot radius around it has turned uh, doe like? Around the, the creature? Yes. In response to being hit by the scorching rays or as I'm casting? No, in ex in response to just existing. Okay. Uh, I forgot to mention that. So like soft, malleable, like bread dough? Yeah. Uh, oh, they'll lovely. all hit. Twenty. And if you want to take, I think, oops, back. There we go. Uh, if you want, I think a knowledge arcana would tell you maybe what this is. Cool. Uh, oh, apparently I am fatigued. <laughs> 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 uh, well, you haven't seen one of these before. Uh, it doesn't look good, uh, but it is very weird. Did the fire seem to burn it? Yeah, the fire seemed to burn it. Uh, but you're pretty sure something isn't supposed to have that many eyes and that many mouths. That doesn't seem right to me. I have yeah. just a, one, two eyes and one mouth, so that's strange. <laughs> uh, if I've got movement left, I'd like to just move a few steps back. Sounds good. I'm doing Mala. All right. You, you don't know what's in there, uh, but you should make. Wait before you move. Uh, make a strength saving throw for me, because the ground that you are on is uh, doughy. <laughs> I'm not very strong. Oh um, my god! Your feet are. Duck fast into the ground. Hmm. How far is the area doughy? Uh, you're on the edge of it. I think. Uh, assuming I have this right. Wait, no. Uh, fuck. I think you're fine. A ten foot radius would not reach out to Vala, would it? It would be two squares away. Well, a ten foot radius. Yeah, would be. Like, if you drew a line from the center of the mound through Vala's circle. Yeah. Um, so you're right on the edge of it, but you're still in the doughy weird ground. Okay. Hey, I get to use my ring. My ring of friendship. Or whatever it's called. To teleport. Yeah! Can I'm going to teleport to Amara. Do it. But do I have to roll something? Don't bring that doughy shit over here. <laughs> it, do, is there something I have to roll? There's no oh, roll. Okay. No. Pew! Guess I'll come like right up next to you. And then I can't see through the room, right? Is that your action or is that a bonus action? I don't know. Is that? I can't. I can't hear you anymore. Is that my action or my bonus a or a bonus, or a bonus action? action. Ooh. That seems like something I would have made a bonus action, but I'd have to log into the other game for sure. I'd house roll it as a bonus action. Okay. Can I see the creature from here? Mm. Probably not. Maybe, but I'd give it partial cover. Okay. Just because it's... All right. Well, I'm out of its 10-foot goop from here. Can I see it from here? Yeah, sure. Okay. Just sort of peeking through. I'm gonna I'm gonna Eldritch Blast it. Ew, not with an eleven. Uh that does hit. Oh. Well alright then. Nine damage. Well you're just hitting a pinata at this point. <laughs> Maybe we should take the wand out of the sludging mess before we obliterate it. I'm gonna step back this way. And I'm done. 
Do you shout that out loud? I'm stepping back this way and I'm done. I think no, the wad friend. comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was the comment? <laughs> Amara suggested we get the wand out of the creature before we kill it. <laughs> and I was being a smart ass. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah, grab that wand. Uh, uh, Silas is going to have to roll for it. <laughs> uh, <sighs> oh, um, also, Vala, can I get you to make another wisdom saving throw for me? Yep. That's fine. Um, Silas, I need you to make both a strength saving throw and a wisdom saving throw. I hate you. I know. <laughs> Love you too. Hey, hey, that was good. Oh, fine. Not, Jesus. This is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. Okay. Well, thank God for that seven. I don't know how much that did for me, though, but hey. Am I still stuck there? Uh, you are not stuck. You can move. But uh, moving away would trigger an attack of opportunity. And fuck it. <laughs> uh, if I grab, I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> huh? Okay. It's all eyes and mouths. <laughs> Gross. It's all eyes for you. <laughs> uh, what would I uh, grabbing the wand constitute? Uh, well, it'd be pretty gross. Uh, but I, mean, I is would that just add action. Would it? Can I use it as a bonus? Um, I would do like a bonus action for that. Um, if you want to do just like a straight dex roll, unless you have sleight of hand. Yeah, uh, no. Dex. I clicked. There it is. Uh, you do manage to snag the wand out of uh, the grasp of the thing. And as an afterthought, I breathe on it. Okay. Uh, that's like a... a breath or just like a rude exhale? <laughs> <laughs> corona, corona. I had <laughs> garlic <laughs> fries for lunch. I cough on it strongly. <laughs> 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 with my breath weapon okay <laughs> i'm trying to remember what it is why does uh it, it's 2d6 damage right i like that this thing's name is gibbering mouther <laughs> that's awesome it's eight plus your constitution modifier to save Oh, is it my constitution modifier or yours? yours yeah. Your constitution. Eight plus three, so twelve. Oh, no, wait, eleven. You succeeded. Okay. Uh, and I still have to roll damage, anyways. Yep. Two two d six. But okay. it takes half, so that's two damage. Mm -hmm. Um. I realize I've stopped describing actions that happened in combat. That's my bad. I'm definitely at the end uh, for this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, Silas uh, definitely snatches the wand from the gibbering mouther uh, and as an afterthought takes a rather ineffectual breath of fire at it, which it manages to dodge, which is surprising because it doesn't really have legs or anything, but it does have a lot of eyes, so it must have seen it coming. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> that was a great description. It must have seen it coming. Um, right. Kara. Kara, bring us um, up. All right. Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. All right. So, <sighs> this thing 
is very much not human anymore, right? Oh, yes. All right. I'm going to walk up to it. Do it. Do I have to make a strength saving throw? Nope. No? All right. I am going to... Okay, how does this work? Uh, so... I am going to attack it with my... Is that long... Oh, longsword two-handed, longsword one-handed. Okay. I am going to attack it with both my main hand and my offhand weapon. All right. Roll to hit. Try out of curiosity. Does that count? That counts as like my main and my bonus action, right? Yeah, that's your action and your bonus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, longsword and offhand. Both those hit. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> wow. Um. Yeah. For I mean, like. I how surprising it was that it dodged that fire blast. It's not actually that uh, wily. So I'd say it was due to my lowered health and constitution from taking all the damage I've taken so far. Yeah, you took a lot of damage really fast, and you're having a bad day at this point. <laughs> I'm feeling a little sluggish. I don't know how I managed to grab the wand. I think I'm still staring at it in amazement, which is why I missed with my fire breath as badly as I did. You were trying not to light the wand on fire, and you're a little delirious. That there we sense. go. I like that. Um, we get by with a little help from our friend. Oh. Uh, Kara takes two swings, both with her long sword and her short sword, which look like they're about to go wild, but still strike home into the mouther as if it's trying to eat the swords, but doesn't really understand that swords aren't for eating, um, and just rips through some of their mouths. Um, yeah. There's 16 total. Yep. Yeah. All right, and then... I'm going to action surge for the day okay. for my long rest. And then, then with a deft swab of hands, I'm going to two hand. Ah, nah, sure, she come back. I'm going to two hand my long sword and swing at it. All right. The hit. Oh, God. <laughs> this is how science Yeah, no, that just straight up misses. Uh, Kara feeling a little confident from how easy it was to hit. Uh, tries to swing again at the gibbering mouther and instead just misses completely and uh, jams the sword into the wall next to the gibbering mouther. Oh, thank Christ. Did you roll a one? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. If it's red, that's a one. <laughs> Maybe you should have more eyes. <laughs> yeah, I hear more eyes help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First thing we're going to do when we get that wand. Mm -hmm. Um... It's the Mouther's turn. Nom, mouther's nom, turn. Nom, nom. Uh, Mouther's not <laughs> smart. <laughs> <laughs> A wash of sheer horror <laughs> radiates over the crowd as, you, as it speaks and says, Who wants to taste Mouther's milk? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's awful. Uh, uh, not really caring to be slightly singed and having had a taste of steel and apparently wanting to eat more. Uh, it doesn't really turn because it doesn't really have a front or a back or a side, but just some of its mouths lunge at Kara to try and bite. Oh, mighty GM, thank you for your kindness. Ooh, Which critical miss fails. Don't thank me yet. Um, and then the another mouth spits a chemical glob at uh, uh, between both Cyrus, Silas and Kara. And I need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's trying to kill you. Oh my Ooh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go into the light. Ah, uh, Silas dice. succeeds. Kara does not. Kara, you're now blinded. Ooh. Oh. Does that mean disadvantage, or can I just not swing at all? 
Uh, you have disadvantage for all of your attacks uh, oh until god. the end of its next turn. Oh my god. The dice gods are with me! <laughs> Today. <laughs> this is how this fight goes at the end. This feels about right. <laughs> 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 I was wondering where it was going to go wrong. Um, Amara, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Oh my god. I'll go to there. Oh, I'm going to crack open alcohol right now. <laughs> I can see and shoot it from there, yes? Yes. Oh, I can't open it. Why? Uh, last second spell level scorching ray. Those all hit. Flame. I guess worse. Uh, I can re-roll. Yeah, yeah why not? I'm going to spend sorcery point for empowered spell to re-roll four of the dice. <clears throat> I'll keep the five and the four. That's your last yep. sorcery point, right? Yep, I'm out now. Okay. What yeah, I'll keep the five and the four and re-roll everything else. Eleven plus five is sixteen plus four is twenty. Uh as this is a killing blow, do you want to describe what happens? I will arc three beams of searing arcane energy into its flesh, holding the last one long enough to disintegrate as it's just melting into a puddle of eyes and teeth uh, until it's lifeless, and, and then just a little bit more singeing the floor beneath it. And the bed. Well, it's on the bed, remember. Oh, right. Yeah, then I'm just going to fuse it to the bed. That's an even better idea. <laughs> <laughs> our art piece. We'll keep that for our whatever we end up owning. <laughs> Uh, excellent. Uh, that takes us out of combat. I'm just gonna collapse to the floor <laughs> beside the burning bed and be like, mm, warm, rest now. Um. All right, shall we call to our sheep friend and tell him to come up? Bye. Bye. I'll tell him that his apprentice turned into some horrible toothy eye abomination thing. Did you teach him that? I did not. And that's a very weird thing to happen. But yeah, no. Um, Amara or Vala, did either of you see uh, him use it on himself? Or were you out of sight? I have been pretty cautious about not being in the room, so I doubt I saw anything. Okay, so yeah, and I neither of I you saw anything. Here. But uh, you, Silas and Kara did see the wand spark, uh, which wands... Eh, I don't know. Um, it sparked. Who knows if it was supposed to do that or not. Uh, yeah. You can roll a, a Knowledge Arcana if you yeah, want. Somebody should take a look at that. Knowledge um, Arcana. Oh, well, I wasn't in the room, but I definitely don't help. <laughs> If you'll let me roll hearing one of them say, weird how it sparked like that, I would like to use my 14 to take a look at it, because that ain't good news. Is that... It's... Wait, is that... It, it looks like it's... Oh, no, it is... Um, sure, like, I assume you go, like, this is what happened, like, this is what you didn't see, and, like, that's weird. And so you inspect the wand with... Uh... No, it's a perfectly normal wand. Sweet. <laughs> totally supposed to spark like that. Seems good. Spark means it's working. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. I'll hand it to Vala and tell her it's attuned to warlocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you guys can talk to the sheep, right? Just ask him if that's normal. Because <laughs> it's his wand. Um, I... Would he know? Uh, I how mean... long does the scroll that let me talk to him last? Because I feel like we slept and then spent hours getting here it doesn't say it just says it's modified so it's a little unclear modified by plot, plot necessity yeah okay modified by hand waving 
uh, then yeah, does he have any idea why it's sparking? Nope, that's really weird. It's never done that before. Well, see, cool if we try it on him and see if he turns into a giant toothy eyeball mess. I mean, he thinks it's worth the risk. Um, and he'd very much not want to be a sheep anymore and would like to go back to being an elf. I do want to say. Wield the wand himself. Uh, he cannot. He needs someone of with human hands to do it. Hey, bright fur! It sparked when he turned it on. When he turned it on himself, and he turned into that blob of eyes, listen, and mouths. I want to be healed, and I want my mutton. Do you want to be a sheep for the rest of your life? I'm a dragon. I'm not a sheep. <laughs> That's what I thought. Do you want to be a dragon for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be a dragon for the rest of their life? Exactly. Um, That's what that bed creature thought. So what are you going to do? Nose goes. One, human. two, three, not Here, it. You use the not wand. It. Not it. Oh, uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some space. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to leave this building. <laughs> Silas, if you're going to stay in there, I, I'll give you my healing potion before I leave. I'm feeling uncertain right now. Uh, I want to leave. <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I have the wand in my hand. I'm looking at the sheep, and I'm like, "So do I have to? I just do I have to say anything, or do I just uh, like flick it at you?" I'm uh, talking to the sheep. Yeah, you just like he tells you the like incantation and the thing that you are supposed to do with the wand to make it work. I don't speak sheep. Uh, well, that's certainly a problem. Someone's gonna have to be there Silas to tell you what to do. Shouting at you from the outside, he says. <laughs> <laughs> he says repeat it's when Guardi these words <laughs> it's when guardia leviosa <laughs> leviosa <laughs> swish and flick <laughs> do i hear any of this from them because at this I point mean, i'm about to just wave it and throw it at him uh you hear it uh so you have an idea of how to do it are you going to do it I'm going to attempt to redo what I heard from okay. the outside. Make an intelligence arcana check for me. God. Yeah, okay, so just arcana or intelligence and arcana? Uh, either one. Um, arcana isn't. Oh boy. Uh... Let me read what happens. It works. <laughs> uh, not only does uh, Shine Bright turn into another gibbering mouther, uh, but the wand explodes. Uh, oh. And. So we just kill him also and then just leave like nothing ever happened? Wait. Wait, are you being serious? Are you teasing us? No, I'm being serious. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just start sparking my hand. Oh god! Fuck! I'm not a mage. Why am I doing this? Ah. Uh. <laughs> and. Uh, both the Gibbering Mouther and Kara take 27 points of force damage <laughs> as the wand explodes. No! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm at eight! <laughs> oh no! Um, uh, that didn't sound good. We can play out the combat if we want, but I'm also okay to call it here because this is the end of the adventure. Um... No, we finished what we started. I kind have to of know curious what happens. how this ends. Do we just kill him uh, and leave? That's, I mean, you get to fight another gibbering mouther. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> but he's already down 27 points. That's cool. 
<laughs> Wait, yeah. what would have happened if I want to know what would have happened if he made a better throw with a save? Or, uh, or a if check? he had failed it by five or less, it wouldn't have exploded, but it still would have turned into a gibbering mouther. You had to make a DC 17 intelligence arcana check. Wow. To get him Jesus back into his And it was a DC 15 intelligence, intelligence arcana check to see that uh, the that wand had, had modified, had been modified, which had left it extremely unreliable, oh. which is something Noke had done. Uh, so barely missed uh, check, seeing what was wrong with it, unfortunately. Interesting. Um, and this is how I've had every single adventure of this end. <laughs> With no one actually saving the poor guy? Oh. No, every single time, Jibbering Mouther also <laughs> wand explodes. <laughs> All right, well, I was promised cool loot, and now there's a Jibbering Mouther, and I'm a little oh, no. hurt. Spentis, you're uh, looking at it the wrong way. We didn't not get nothing. We've earned a wizard's tower. <laughs> hey! With a Jibbering Mouther in it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so we just... Is it, is, it, is it the valet? Do we just leave him here? <laughs> uh, and, um, and like the previous gibbering mouther, there's no semblance of human intelligence, right? It's just no, it's gone. gone. Yeah. yeah, anything that was shine bright no longer exists. So I guess we're rolling for initiative. If you want, like let's, let's I'm not going to force this combat if you don't want to. Let's kill it. We'll have it dead in no I mean, time. It's feisty, down if we kill points. this. If we kill this, are we going to loot this tower and get some type of reward? Or am I just going to scramble out of this <laughs> tower and burn it to the ground? Oh, we're moving into this place for sure. We don't need uh, a tavern well just... in this town anymore because... You get to see what happens after this is over. I'm not going to tell you what, what's in this place. <laughs> All right. Well, All right, let's do this. Uh, hold on. Before we roll for combat, as soon as he turned into Jibbering Mouther, I'd like to use my Pearl of Power to restore a second level spell slot. Okay. Is that a reusable item, Try. Uh, once per day. Okay, yeah. once per day. It's like a bonus spell slot. So I've already action surged. I've already... Oh, oh, thank God I'm a fighter. God, it feels good to be a gangster. So it has 27 points of health missing, though, right? Yep. I okay. just uh, subtracted it. Um... Cool. Okay, we're doing initiative again. Yep, everyone. Oh, hold on! Don't do it quite yet. Okay, uh, everyone, roll for initiative. Why did you not? Are we near uh, each other? I stepped outside. Oh so... no! Okay. Wait, you didn't step back in with us when we stepped. Oh, in? Uh, no! You see how I've only taken eight points of damage this entire evening, <laughs> and then managed to do over a hundred and sixty. Yeah. Push okay. off. Enjoy your broken back. <laughs> so heavy. I mean, that's kind of what Amara does in all the games I've seen, is just carries the team. <laughs> <laughs> all the best players are drawn to her. <laughs> Thank you, Try. <laughs> <laughs> I just like fire. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, the Mather goes first and moves to the closest target, which happens to be Kara, and I'm very sorry. Um, it can't move this thing farther. can move? Oh, yes. It doesn't move fast. It's sort of like Baymax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if Baymax had mouth feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Um... This is uh, terrible. If I, if anyone wants to see what it looks like, I oh, just uh, disgusting. shared it to. Uh, oh my god! It's got mouths inside of mouths. It's kind of terrifying. For angel jaws. Uh. And it's gonna bite at Kara. Five. That Ineffectually. Is, that is a miss. Thank Christ. Uh, uh, 
and is also going to spit at Kara too. Um, so make a deck saving throw for me. You are blinded again. Oh my god. Don't look How at does... the flashing slime. Which flashing slime? That one right here on the floor. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> you think you've learned the first time. Uh, caught off balance by being exploded by a wand and then have a gibbering mouther again show up and attempt to bite her again. Uh, is thrown off a bit balanced by once again taking a bunch of uh, weird spittle to the face that explodes. Um... Amara, it's your turn. Uh, I'll step to the threshold of the room. <laughs> I'd like to remind Kara to second wind. Yeah, and I'm waiting for my turn, I assure you. Then I will cast my tried and true Scorching Ray. This time with no addition. Uh, all of those hit? Nice. 30 points. Uh, Amara using her signature move fires off three bolts, uh, three rays of scorching bright hot energy uh, that lance into and kind of through the gibbering mouther, um, though it is still. Uh, it's not really standing so much as subsisting. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Leaning tower of eye mouths. Yes. I'm going to move two squares back and call it a turn. Okay. Kara, you're blinded. Uh, also make a wisdom and strength saving throw for me. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, st to, to stand myself up. And I'm going to use second wind. Oh, uh, so it's four plus 1d10. So... Uh, so it is, and I recover 10 HP. Sweet. That's on my end. We're, we're all in agreement there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now at disadvantage, even because I'm not going to run away from this thing in sheer anger <laughs> that I went through all this trouble to help this stupid sheep and he goes and does this to me. And he, then he blows me on my ass. So I'm just going to attack it. And since I've used my bonus action, I'm going to take a uh, two-handed swing with disadvantage at guy. Okay. Still manages to hit. Fourteen. Nice. Just a, just in pure blind anger, literally. Just a clean head, like, like waist height, like long splash across the body just out in front of me. Uh, which cleaves it in two. And it nice. is dead. Oh, thank god. I hear it, I hear it dead and I'm just kind of standing there and I just scream and I'm like, I just scream to myself and I'm like, I hate wizards! <laughs> you can tell it's dead because the uh, ground is no longer doughy underneath your feet and uh, you don't hear the gibbering anymore. I yeah. just want to like hear Kara blinded go like, "Did I kill it? Is it died? Everybody died." <laughs> <laughs> um, just like rubbing at my eyes, I motion towards where I think Vala and Amara are. And I'm like, "No how offense." Much longer, how much longer gonna, will he be blinded? I'm gonna like uh, casually just go, like ah. six more, like six seconds. Uh, before the sight restores, then I'd like to move into the room, use my prestidigitation to mimic the sound of the gibbering monster directly behind oh, him on the table. You are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to make a two handed <laughs> long sword swing behind me in panic. <laughs> oh, man. Do it, do it, do it. You actually did it. Consider it done. Feisty, are we cool? We're done. We're done with combat. Everything. Okay. okay. I wasn't sure if you. I said what I was gonna do. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to actually roll. Like, no, you said it. As long as you were gonna stay blind, I was gonna run you around the lab, just breaking everything. 
Wait, we haven't looted yet. Next time a talking sheep comes into a tavern, I'm breathing flames on it. No questions asked. Fresh mutton. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately, all of the magical artifacts and gold that was promised to you uh, does not appear to exist. And Shinebright, or actually Noak, appears to have made this complex uh, relatively bankrupt. Uh, which sucks. However, um, there's not really much that benefits uh, non-transmuters uh, in general. However, uh, the valuables restricted to the expensive lab equipment and arcane paraphernalia would be estimated to be worth about a hundred or a thousand gold. Ooh, yeah. Let's go sell some stuff. Uh, also, uh, you can. Uh, Shinebright would have wished for you to leave everything intact and not loot everything, but also he's dead, so you get to do what you want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. Um, I, I would have wished for him not to become a gibbering mouther and try to eat <laughs> Yeah, but we can all have what we want. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, you can also just take the entire tower complex uh, for your own, too. I'm okay with that. Having a wizard, having a wizard's tower is not it. I think it'd be pretty idea. awesome to have this be our new HQ. Yeah, I'm gonna move into my bedroom and I'm gonna take the <gasps> bed my hey, dragon your... art with me, and I'm gonna put that up on the wall. <laughs> uh, there, you, you may need to patch the wall in. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a team of servants who can do that. I'm gonna go <laughs> oh, do find need in the kitchen. Oh, you do actually, as a noble. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, which will come in handy because when the other nobles in the region come by for Noak's services, they're going to be a little confused that he's missing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to hire Silas as my complaints department. Nice. <laughs> complaints, I'm just going to entertain them until they leave us alone. <laughs> I, is, is Silas just going to pull a Jane uh, from uh, Firefly? Yes. I love it. I don't remember the character's name anymore. It is Jane. I'm trying to remember what Jane would do. Uh, shoot someone. <laughs> I, I, I am an entertainer. <laughs> you don't know nothing about the chain of command. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have an HQ now. This is amazing. Look, I want my mutton. I'm going to make my way to the kitchen. See, that's you where I'm at. You got mutton yesterday. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Uh, the sheep... The gibbering mouthers did not really turn back into what they were before and are still gibbering mouthers, so you will have to clean that up. Not it. <laughs> not, not, it. It. not it. Ah, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Your servants have to do it. <laughs> They're going to be busy fixing up my master bedroom over here. I got stuff to do. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you, Feisty. <laughs> uh, Thank you for bearing with me while I struggle bust through that. <laughs> so what's in these no, it was, rooms it here? was fun. <laughs> I thought that was great. What's over here? Uh, that's just more sleeping quarters. Bunks it's the bunkhouse where you guys can stay. Yeah. Hey! There's only one Cal King in here. <laughs> Obviously, that's mine. <laughs> Would not call that a Cal King. <laughs> Best friend rings. <laughs> It's like... <laughs> That's like a queen bed at best. You know what? I think I'm ready to be alone for a while. I'm going to take the private room outside. Oh, all right, guys. Thank you so much. Of course. <sighs> Thank you, Feisty. I know you've had a long day, but I think you really did a great job. Thanks. Yes. Um, this will... was hilarious and fun it was fun to play i haven't been a player in a game of DD since 2006 well i hope it uh, uh i can't brain anymore i hope it good <laughs> it was great have a Feisty. wonderful it, it, evening it good my heart open <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot yeah. with arms open um uh,
I would be happy to run something again at some point, but maybe not until next month because I have another game I'm running at, I think, the end of this month for some other friends. That sounds wonderful. Which, if it goes well, I'll just rerun it for all of y'all because you won't know what's going on. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but you get to play as children. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's will they be children version time. of these characters? <laughs> I it won't be. It'll be different. But you get to, uh, they're a little bit more free form in nice. uh, how you want to play them. I also oh, found a book on the DMs candy. Guild for Magic Candy, so that's going to show oh. up too. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Excellent. guys. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. You, yep. you too. Thanks for Thanks playing for... with me. <laughs> Thanks for DMing, Christy. Thanks for DMing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good Have night. a good night.